Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So Tom will not be joining us. Yep. Mm-hmm. He's dead again. Frozen, you could say. Dead Tom. Tom. Frozen. He's not dead. Uh, he's dead to us. <laughs> Sorry, let me, let me clarify. <laughs> also, it's not like Disney needs another eighteen dollars. <laughs> you know, I mean, we're you know we're sitting here sort of creating you know communal memories. But whatever, if you want to go see some <laughs> Disney Pavilion, you know, right. yeah, just whatever. I guess. I mean, she's going to live longer than we are. So, I mean, really. You know, who, who's the selfish one? That's what I'm getting at. Uh, but yeah, so so otherwise, we're all together, and um, uh, do we all remember what happened? Yep. Yeah, I tripped and fell face first in front of a dragon. Um, this person. Thing. Sure. Slime monster. That's a nice way of putting it. Yeah, yeah. something something viscous and, and uh, a, a, a Nickelodeon syrupy. Kind of a gack. A gack yeah. monster, if you will. A single gack. <laughs> yeah. Just halfway between gack and fly. Mm. Um, Summer Sanders is commanding it from <laughs> <laughs> Bouncy yet sticky. Hmm. We must summon the aggro crag. <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, so so um, that the gack monster mm-hmm. is being played by the part of this <laughs> suspiciously water-looking thing. Water elemental. Well, I mean, it did come out of the sink, right? So, right. so I mean, it's, water know, on it. it's like it's a it's a liquid of some kind. So just what I'm saying is, it is a solution. I of know, maybe jelly. And I know water. we put this monitor in to eliminate the need for imagination, but you'll have to use imagination <laughs> on this one. So. I'm going to have to start printing more minis now. <laughs> you know, I remember to message you about mm-hmm. that to see if you can do it. Literally, like, a, so yesterday I was doing some prep work. It was like 1 o'clock in the morning, and I was like, oh, I need shit. shit. <laughs> There's no way he's going to see that message and be able to do that in time. And it's you, happened you twice now. Correct. It's always, I always have the thought at like 2 in the morning, and I go, oh, fuck, I can't do it. When the memory strikes. Yeah. So. <sighs> I was trying to remember what dice I actually need. So how... How soon are the recordings for this supposed to go up? Like what in terms of the... The upload order. I've got them set up for I think the next four weeks on Saturday. Okay. Check, but mm-hmm. yeah, I've been. I gave it the usual like almost a month. Yeah. So we build up that backlog. Okay. Uh, let's check the pod bean. So I did pop in and set things up until like. Almost halfway through the yeah. next month. Okay. Yeah, in, in fact, the second episode should be out literally today. Okay, cool. Because of what, you know, we're t- during the Christmas break, uh, I'll be able to sort of listen to some of those and pick up on some of the things that I said were true and then I don't remember that are true. <laughs> ah, so that I can reincorporate them. Yeah. Because <laughs> what, what, happens, what happens is I do, I do the prep work, like, let, you know, like it's like 1 o'clock in the morning again, and I'm thinking, like, did I say that? Did I establish this already? I don't remember if I did. Okay, well, I guess I'm. I guess it's fact now. We're going with it. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't have the excuse of being able to listen to the recordings to to make absolutely sure. Yeah, so if there's any, if there's any discrepancies between what I've told you in the sessions and um, what is apparently recorded fact, <laughs> what um, is real? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so. That. I'm making coffee, and those are. 
iced blueberry biscuits. It's gonna wait on the coffee before going for it. Yeah, fair enough. Well, I have a wonderful man. This is eating something. Yeah, I gave him bones. Like, told me to. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, thank God. Uh, no, not so much. Or, you know. or, I, I, I looked at the HDMI cord and I've already seen like little divots in it, so I'm not <laughs> sure. The teeth. I'm not sure if that's from just bending, pulling it around, or pulling it through this yeah. wood, or who knows. I don't know. Anyway. I mean, whenever I'm home, Francis is usually up my ass, so it hasn't been while I'm home, I know that. Well, I haven't been putting HDMI cord in your ass. <laughs> Definitely haven't been. It's not my thing. Or have like. <laughs> well, we'll check that one <laughs> safely off the kink list. <laughs> Digital connectivity <laughs> in the ass. Wow. Uh, okay. Those okay. Who love colonoscopies? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Ooh. Who the fuck? Loves if you colonoscopy? if you love home theater and colonoscopies, you'll love <laughs> you'll love the lube beach too, my kid. So with that, <laughs> let's get started. Uh, Okay, so right. episode sponsored by <laughs> sponsored by Lou Beach Market. <laughs> There's a the version of You Don't Know Jack that they published a couple of years ago as part of one of the Jack boxes, like mm-hmm. you, like you, you Don't Know Jack like 2017 edition or something like that. Yeah. I don't remember which pack it was, but had those things where like each episode was sponsored by this made up company. Yeah, that's what they reminded me. I, lo- I love their like B writing for that. It's so good. oh yeah. So, uh, when last we left off, um, Woots was having a bit of a, uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll call it an intimacy problem, <laughs> with uh, this greenish sort of gack-like monster that had come out of the sink in his room. Very, or the basin, I should say. Very ripply and alien. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah. It didn't have the extra <laughs> face and mouth that came out, but... Very much so. So now you guys are downstairs. Um, you um, informed uh, the clerk, uh, whose name like whose name escapes me. Um, I don't think we ever learned his name. Well, that that's rude on your part, then I guess. Um, who who you informed him to like you know go to go and okay. to leave Kaya or whatever, and to like summon his his mistress to try to mm-hmm. take care of of things while you guys. Held down the fort, so to speak. Now you are face to face with this this weird globular creature, and it is, uh, we'll say, menacingly. It, it's menacing you. It's not actively like grabbing and, and throttling any of you, but it's menacing. It's bearing down. Right. So, uh, fortune. So fortune. We're going to figure that out first. Always good. And then say that like I'm laying so, on the floor in front of it. Oh, so wait. we'll f- so figure out fortune and then roll again because we're rolling initiative. Nice. <laughs> yep, fifteen. So 15. fortune. Hold on. So of course. Who are you people? Where'd you get your um, So talk to Amazon. got a what? Amazon. Fifteen. So uh, for fortune. Fifteen oh, for fortune. Yeah. Oh. oh, initiative is only a six. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's figure out fortune. First. You, got, <laughs> you got a fifteen. <laughs> yep. So that's good. Ten. Ten, so that is it's edge case. It's not good enough. It's, it's not that safe. Not yeah. a death save. It's a fifty percent. Not a What'd four. You get? Four. Okay, is that's that not an edge case. Two. Two. <laughs> Definitely not. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. And I have to roll. And the winner is one. A natural one. Like so yeah. There you go. All right. So there's your there's your layout there. Dead even. So three of each. And now give me your uh, uh, initiative rolls. Fifteen. Fifteen for Ruby. I got a natural twenty, so nineteen. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Close enough, right? Feels good. So Emmanuel. Yeah, the natural twenty was right after the four. So nineteen. Mm-hmm. Books. Yep. Uh, nineteen plus two, so twenty-one. Twenty-one. If you're gonna get one. natural twenty, who am I missing? Lance. I'd rather That's be initiative than fortune, though, right? Nineteen. 19, you said? Wow. You guys wasted your low rolls on the fortune. Yep. I, yeah. Uh-huh. You know, hey. mistakes may have been made. Well, uh, oh. at least we're not, you know. I'm guessing Lionel's. All dying. Got, I'm guessing Lionel's got the higher uh, dexterity between the yeah. two of you, right? Yeah. It's a four difference. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, it is fun uh, running characters that don't have dexterity. Because uh, so. uh, even as a barbarian, you kind of still want some dexterity. Yeah. Dex uh, god stat, etc., and so on. The only one that can only like fight is paladin. paladin. Fighter and paladin. And sometimes mm-hmm. uh, cleric. Yeah. Depending on how you run it, yeah. Well, you should go heavy instead of medium. I mean, I guess you could argue wizard. I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. You need every edge you can get to stay alive, yeah. usually. But no armor. Oh, you got major armor. Proficiency. Yeah. Sup some major armor, roll your shield out there, get your mirror image going, and eventually it's like, yeah. Or, or, it's fine. Or, or By the time you do all that, like, the battle's over? Yeah. <laughs> do something like uh, the lizard folk where you get your natural armor. Yeah. And then you're just like, I don't care. <laughs> Who else? Just hop out there and get that now. All right. Well, so, so, this thing is bearing down on you, oh, and if dragon. you would please place yourselves. So, so here's here's a little bit of orientation, right? Mm-hmm. So we've got the sort of the lobby area, right, with the counter where you first met the uh, the clerk, right? Then you've got some slight stairs up into sort of the main area. The way that this map is laid out, you know how hard it is to get a, a bathhouse uh, battle yeah. map? Yeah. Uh, so, so these are the stairs leading up to the second floor where your rooms were, remember? Okay. Okay. So this thing has come down those stairs and is now sort of in the sort of main thoroughfare, this is the sort of the public bath area that you heard the, you know, the the, the, the conversation between the two gentlemen mm-hmm. in here. Um, and so you guys, I assume, because you were just talking to the clerk and in the main hallway, are in this well, general the clerk area. clerk was coming down from... Oh, he took off, no, didn't he? Cause, mm-hmm. cause but he was coming it. down from your room. Because wasn't yeah. the person that we talked to on the second floor, like outside the room? Yeah, because he got hit by the door. Yeah, he fled. Like, he took off. <laughs> yes, but he's yeah, but he's gone, and you guys went down the stairs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. I do. I do remember. We were, or at the very least, we were working our did. way because you were trying to go back to the bathhouse to get weapons, but then the whole the whole swimming I, yeah. area was also filled with that right. viscous slime stuff. Yeah, because I remember I was trying to get to the bathhouses when I fell. That being over here, right? Uh-huh. So you guys are somewhere in this, like, in there this area. So please place yourselves. Wherever you may, you may roll. So is, these are stairs instead of closest. To Those like, aren't these stairs. Door. These, this, this column like right here. Or not really no, balcony that's not a balcony. Inch. Imagine it's just a sort of like a raised area where there are like baskets and towels and all manner of things. Right? Are you still outside? Next, like, no, I, I came back in. Yeah, I was so it connects the lobby guys. area with the greater bath area. See, it's just go up the oh. stairs and there's a little, just extended little thing, and then you go into the main. area. Okay. Is everybody good? Mm-hmm. Great. Well, no, but that's where I am. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, so you're prone. Uh-huh. So you start off prone. So remember that. You have to spend half your movement to get up. And pointy. Okay. Prone and pointy. The claws are out. Uh-huh. So, uh, whoops, you're up first. Uh, I'm going to cast Enhance Ability. Mm-hmm. That sounds like bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, okay. So I'm going to give uh, bull strength to Ruby. All so right. She has an advantage on any strength checks. Damn. And Thank then, uh, am I level three? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes? Okay, yes, so I get to cast two. two. Uh, who else wants an advantage? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can only do one like spell slot. Spell I think per it, turn. Right? Well, so when you cast or you can, you can do two people at once. Yes. You can target one additional creature for if each you slot. Cast a higher spell slot. Oh, so, okay. I can just do the one. I appreciate right. it anyway. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Cool. Punch it up. Alright, so you feel um, the strength of a bull <laughs> rising in you. Uh, Lionel. I'll take a shot at it. Sure. With my bow. With your bow, okay. Sounds good. The first aggression is ours. Yep. <laughs> so in court, the yep. holds. <laughs> <laughs> when the slime monster sees I, I always us for all we're worst. It, it's <laughs> when, yeah. the, when the when the slime monster, who you then realize is actually the, the king of Gakland, <laughs> like twelve. A twelve to hit. That is a miss. 
It just sails harmlessly near the sort of gek monster, and there's a kind of a viscous, wet sound as it just sort of just sort of grazes it slightly. Mm. My least favorite noises. Emmanuel. Okay. Um, can I like get Ruby on her feet? Yeah, if you want to go up to her and, and pick yeah. her up, yeah. yeah just watch where you grab. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> so you like the sharp under yeah, the okay. So you move up and use your action to, to hoist her up. Yeah, that's good. Thanks. You're gonna I don't like step in front perhaps of a, 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 a sporty <laughs> butt slap or <laughs> get in there, champ. Or... You can no, do it. I, just, I just help her up. Okay, sounds good. Ruby, then it's your turn. There's a drummer and a fire breather outside. Mm-hmm. Could you keep it down? I'm trying to fight you here. <laughs> Somehow, like, gets through the this is okay, I'll, whatever I'll just magical. Take, this is just a Tuesday for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just take uh, two swipes at it. I've got claws, so we'll see what happens. Okay. Let's see what happens. So, one in a swing. Gross, excuse me. Um, so, I get to use Dex. Do I have my proficiency or not? Yes. Yeah, I do. Okay, so 15 and 16. 15 and 16, respectively. Both hit. Nice. No, don't eat that. Don't no, worry, don't it'll eat. never happen again. You <laughs> <laughs> that, you're what? And with our luck with dice. Five. What, 11 total? This is two different strikes. What kind of damage is that? Slashing. Just slashing? Okay. Mm-hmm. 11, you said. Way too many. Okay. Well, that would be like if you're mowing curly. <laughs> so you slash. So you see some. Um, as if. As if. Um, as if your cat had gotten into the Jello container in the uh, in, in, in the fridge. You see some slight like viscousy chunks move, but it is uh, a minuscule amount compared to sort of the, the mass of this thing. But you clearly did cut into it. Yeah. Okay. Just gotta devour it. I wish I could back up. Yeah, just, just eat it. <laughs> well, you can, technically. <laughs> you feels could. Like, feels like a bad idea. Yeah. Okay. That's always the weird feeling with the, what is it, primal savagery spell, where it's like, oh, you get big teeth and whatnot. You don't want to bite half the monsters in D&D. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm not biting that. You fucking so, kidding me? So, the creature sort of loses, um, loses cohesion, that's a good way for it, um, slightly. It sort of becomes more watery. As you can see that it sort of loses its form and becomes more of a sort of watery blob. And it then moves in and sort of begins to puddle around Uh-oh. your feet. Uh-uh. Don't care for that. <laughs> then you both must make a strength saving throw. So the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> strength oh, advantage. I have advantage on. Oh, good. I'm going to take advantage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can no, we try again? Sure. Yeah. I can certainly roll better than a two. Now it's a one. Uh, well, that's a two. 15. 19. Wait. Okay. No, not 15. 14. So, this thing pulls around your ankles, and you can see that it's sort of like, it it, it begins to to rise and fall, the crest, and to move about you, and you can feel it tugging at you, basically, as if it's trying to sort of get a kind of a grip on you. You're able to sort of, with your might, sort of push back at the the various sort of waves of greenish <laughs> fluid, and you are pushed out uh-huh. away from it. Okay. That's good. I'll take that. The joy of fighting uses. All right, then it is Takta's turn. All right, uh, we're going to start off light with a 
pull the dead. The fireball? Yeah. <laughs> so give me a wisdom save for this a thing. A wisdom save. So yep. burn down the whole building. DC 12. The thing will try to whiz. And it has taken any damage, yes? Yes. Yes. Cool. I get it to has taken some D12. damage. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, if the target is missing any of its hit points, take a D12. So it has rolled an 18. Okay. Nothing. The joys of cantrips. Yeah. <laughs> hit or nothing. Then we are back up to Wooks. Ooh, let's see. Um... going to go at it with my light crossbow. Just... Ah! just, just <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, shoot at it. Oh, okay, all right. Oh, all right. Like club it. <laughs> it's like, it's like playing it. it's like playing Zork or one of those early text-based dungeon crawlers where, like, you got to put in the exact <laughs> thing you're doing. Otherwise, I don't know what the hell. Attack slime with bow. Understand commands. Yeah. Attack slime with bow. Yeah, you bash slime <laughs> at the end of your bow. <laughs> No, you idiot. Attack the slime with arrow. You're taking a single arrow in your hand. So I got an 18. 18, yeah, that hits. Cool. Fire bow. Yes. You light the bow on fire. <laughs> fire bow. You remove bow from his longtime position in the company. The bow gets to drinking, ends up being divorced. Uh, 7 plus 2 piercing damage. So 9 piercing damage. Cool. Okay. So again, another. So you take your crossbow, shoot a bolt. It clearly impacts this thing in its sort of chest area, which you kind of assume is the chest-like region. Um, it's still kind of slightly formless, um, and it. You hear a heavy sort of thunk as it goes in, and then just sort of stays in there. Again, as if, as if you had, well. Fired a crossbow bolt into gel. <laughs> it was Mythbusters. When we were if you, yeah, if you, if you have <laughs> ballistic gel, it just, you know, it's just stuck in there. Ballistic gel golem. Okay, well, anything else in your turn? Is that it? Oh, no. Is it yeah. Lion. It's going to scoot over and then mm-hmm. take a shot. Okay, around the corner there. Ooh, ah. Uh. Oh, I see. You're in. You're in this square here. So, okay, got it. Sharp angle. Not looking good. Eight. Eight. No. <laughs> that does miss. So you. So this is you, Ruby, right? So you see a crossbow bolt. Is that right? It, it's a short bolt. So. Uh, you see a, You see a, an arrow embed itself into the wall. <laughs> uh, next to you. Side eye, Lionel. <laughs> Emmanuel. I'm kind of like short, so if there's like any railing, I'm, I'm just like not being able to see above the railing. Oh, I know who did it. <laughs> yes. Hey, look, these benches are tall. Like, there's a bunch of wicker baskets and stuff. It's difficult. Okay. So, I'm so right like, next to it. Yes. I have no AC, no weapons. Sounds about right. Sounds yes, great. please remember that if you were in the bath, you are still naked. Unless you went up to your room and... Well, I mean, I brought my stuff down to the bath and put it... Mm. Well, we're not you naked. Can. We, we rock clothes. We got out well, of yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. I, you, you don't have your equipment and weapons unless you're we naked in terms yeah. of weapons. Mm. So your your AC good. is no. different, <laughs> right? No, you're fine. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> fuck, going to the bathhouse. Yeah. <laughs> so and then you brought this problem upon us. <laughs> like good idea. Okay, yeah, punch it. Sounds good. <laughs> I mean, you've got so, smite, right? No. Oh. I have a spell, but I need my spell book to actually do those. Oh. So, cantrips it is. So, that is 17. 17 hit. Yeah, that's 70 memories. It does 4 bludgeoning damage. 4 I bludgeoning exactly damage. How it okay. Works, to be honest. Think, yeah. So, you haul back, and you hear this sort of wet smack as you make connection with this cold, viscous liquid. <coughs> it's this splotching noise. And you see that it, it, like, there's a small ripple that forms across its sort of its body, but otherwise it doesn't seem to move or register that you've punched it. <laughs> Is it like then? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You see the thing sort of. There's a moment of stillness, and then it begins to sort of bubble and and and, and gibber and shake, and you can see that coming out of its form is more green oh, gack like liquid on. it begins to form a kind of cresting wave and it comes directly towards you uh, it is 
like the width of the hallway and it continues like it shoots out in, in a kind of a tidal wave fashion uh, striking everybody here, 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 and here. Dope. So each of you must make a dexterity save. Oh, yeah. Uh, can I try to latch onto the walls with my claws and like, try to climb up the wall? <laughs> All right, come on. I think somebody stole somebody's bone. Yeah. 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 You an asshole. Like, is there anything for me to latch onto with the walls? Can I get out of this? You have range? to make a dexterity Part of the, that is the dexterity, dexterity save. Okay. That's, you just gotta... Twelve. Twelve, you say? Twelve. Okay. Thirteen. Thirteen. Oh, okay. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. That's okay. So that was it. That was it, right? Because you didn't. Yep. You didn't have to make it because you're all the way over there. Yep. Thirteen. Thirteen. So the. So you got a twelve. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So this this tidal wave of green viscous gak. liquid. <laughs> gak. Let's call it gak. Let's call it what it is. Uh, slaps into you. And you take, Uh-oh. well, everyone who is talked to, mm. so that's one person, <laughs> <laughs> takes, uh, let's see, six bludgeoning damage, okay. and you get knocked prone. Ooh. All right. He was already so close to the ground, that seems cool. <laughs> the rest of you take three bludgeoning damage. Hmm. Non-magical? Non-magical. Oh, yeah. crap. I forgot about that. Is that only one that heavy armor? Wearing, yeah, you have to be wearing armor. Yeah. And you are not knocked prone. However, you've been smacked in the face by Gak. Like, so, you've been slimed. So you can see that this thing basically washed over you. It managed to knock Takta over because he's like knee-high to a frog, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and the rest of you have just been like whacked by this liquid, and now there's just the remains, the dredges of it sort of pooling around your ankles and along the floor. Discomfort. You fall, asshole. Okay. You wanted it so fucking badly. Ruby. Um. I guess I'll just. I mean, it's been less than a minute, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Then I'll just take two more swipes at it with the claws. Okay. Can we do something with it? He's going to puppy jail. So Leon doesn't try to bite his face off. Yeah, that'd be good. All right, so twenty-three and sixteen again to hit. Twenty-three and sixteen. Yeah. Both of those hit. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> the good admiral. <laughs> He's dancing. <laughs> He's playing drums. Oh, okay. He's like a German admiral. I like it. I can't tell, but I think if you prepared it, you should be fine. Mm-hmm. But. Six, so thirteen. It doesn't say you need your thirteen spell book to actually cast on you, you to cast it, except for like ritual. Okay, again another. Would be <laughs> and you see little um, mostly need it for essentially parents. little ribbons, basically okay. of this this gag fluid, and then you're prepped for the day. Fly off as a creature, not making a huge dent, but you are making slight. Okay. Okay. All right. Now it is the creature's turn. Let's see. It reaches out. You can see that it, its body sort of forms this this chunky tentacle-like appendage and tries to smack both of you because you two are in the front. Mm-hmm. So it essentially whap, whap, right? It's follow through. As, yes, it's doing a follow through. Okay, so it rolls to hit you first. Wait, what is my... Not you. Right. You. Yeah. It, just be minus two. it rolled a natural one, so it probably does not hit you. No, it should be <laughs> minus two. Nice. And then to hit you. It's an eleven. No. Yeah. Even naked. Even yeah. naked. Alright. This would be thirteen. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this thing basically yeah, I think so. you manage to um you manage to dodge this sort of meaty tentacle and it sort of flies over you and essentially smacks with a wet slap into the wall to your left. To your right, I guess. Coffee's ready, by the way. Okay, talk to him. Alright. Up dog, down dog. Uh, we're going to go with a witch bolt then. A witch bolt? Yeah. Witch bolt, which one? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> who's, on, who's on first? first. 
They're they're wolves. They're Can I ever tell you, there's a there's a great routine by I know I mentioned this before. There's a great routine by a a, a, a comedy team called Sloven and Allen. Sloven and Allen fucking loves. Sloven they and Allen. they do the they do that this same bit or... except they replace the question words like who and what and everything mm-hmm. with the names of actual baseball yeah. players yeah. or rather like normal human nice. names but they keep the bit exactly, exactly the same, the same. <laughs> who? Like, yeah it's like uh, Jose Martinez is on first <laughs> that's what I'm asking <laughs> that's ridiculous this. thing oh they're dueling banjos on tape recorders yeah so that's so great. <laughs> Their their time machine bit where they no, they have to do the jamming they, Twinkies they, yeah they have to do the same bit faster and faster <laughs> they do it in Spanish once and yeah, it's just, just fun. slight alterations and yeah. let's fun. go with advantage on this because I need it okay all right because then I can just concentrate for the rest of the battle and we're yeah. fine that's true until you get hit by another tidal wave yeah. Oh, there's a chance. 18. 18 is definitely a hit. Hey, congratulations. Okay, which bolt is D12? Yep. Lightning. All of four lightning damage. Ooh. Four lightning damage. I know. And then... How did he even get in the building? Spend <laughs> half my move to get up, and... Can I just meander over there? Slowly, By the door, just in case. Yeah. Yeah. Pushing <laughs> slime off. Just to hear the music better. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. It's, it's coming through fire the door. Breathing, bro. I get out of here. I'm, I'm tipping you all. Yeah. <laughs> So you fire this bolt, it strikes the blob, and you can see that there's a little bit of a, a rippling and a bubbling where it struck. Um, you can see that it that it was effective. Good. Um, so good. Awesome. And then really we have... somebody would do some like lightning or something. Okay, whoops. We'll You're see back if it's up. any better, yeah. Uh, I'm going to use Sacred Flame. Ooh. Sounds good. So he's got to make a... Uh, DC 13 dexterity. A dexterity set. I use it all the damn time when it's clear. Okay. It's like, sacred flame, sacred flame, take sacred flame. advantage with that. Just because, you know, I want you guys to have a little bit more challenge. fortune. Mm. <laughs> yeah, okay. The kind of challenge. We already have enough challenge with half the party okay. being without equipment. So, dexterity save. That's 18. Okay. So, is able to sort of like, what? sort of flubber its way out. <laughs> the, the laser ray just goes straight through it. It just... The laser ray hits the, the roof, and the roof is in, impeccably constructed, <laughs> so it doesn't get through. Yeah, I guess. It I just guess, like heats I up guess the Sacred asphalt. Flame is basically like the Hammer of Dawn from Gears. Mm-hmm. It's either like the Hammer of Dawn, or you just yeah. do it from like your staff kind of thing. Yeah. Your Indiana Jones moment. Okay. Because uh, once somebody gets up, they're like, I want to go to the kitchen. Lie. Ugh. <sighs> Third time the charm? Only one way to find out. Roll the three again. Nice. <laughs> I wish you'd roll the one so that Ruby could have gotten an arrow in the back of the head. Thank you. I love you too. Anyway, so another a total of three? Eight. Okay, eight, yeah. yeah. Well that that again, another another arrow, another lodging I just, in the I wood. just Robin Hood the same arrow. Yeah, you yeah. split the the haft of the arrow in twain. Yeah. So impressive in a kind of a in a kind of a dumb way. Yeah. Impressively unimpressive. Impressively unimpressive. Yes. I saw earlier this week somebody had like Robin Hood the axe throw. The axe throws. It's fucking mm, cool. Yeah. It was like it was a dual thing. Like they both threw at the same time and they stuck Whoa. right in the back of each other in like the world axe throwing championship. Emmanuel. That was crazy. I don't know if this is doing any good, but I'll punch it again. Sure, <laughs> why not? It seemed to piss it off last time, and it attacked you what, immediately. What? I mean, it couldn't happen again, right? <laughs> it doesn't seem to like to be bludgeoned. I mean, at least we'll learn if it'll do it again. <laughs> we just need, like, a shovel or something? Just to, like Mathematically speaking, we have to do it three times to be sure. So, <laughs> that's an 18? 18, you hit. say. That's definitely a hit. So, so she's four blood four. Four. All right. Four bludgeoning damage. Splish, again, splash. another wet smack. This time, nothing happens. Huh. Yeah. Imagine punch, you punch it, it and I just go. <laughs> We're all like, <laughs> stop <laughs> punching it! <laughs> but nothing happened, so. Let me know if there's not enough, I'll make some more, Steven. Ruby. Okay, let me know when my minute's up. So, though this thing is. Well. Why? For a minute, for what? For your shift. Oh, right. So it's yeah. been two rounds, so right. So that would be, what That's is that, ten rounds? Yeah. yeah. Ten yeah. Rounds. Okay, great. So. Then we'll stop asking. Sorry. Well, no, just somebody somebody keep track of that. It's hard, it's hard for me to... 
remember. Remember that at the same time. Okay, well, I got a nat 20. Yeah. Hey! 22. Okay, so your natural 20, you're doubling your damage dice, right? So roll that first. Oh, come on, really? Three and six. So six for the nat 20. Okay. And five for the. Okay, 22. so 11 slashing damage? Yeah. Okay. I hate you. Alright, so some more, you know, um, some, some, some more stringy chunks have been ripped off of this, this creature, but again, it's still pretty sizable. What were you going to tell me about that before I hit it? You started to say something, like, even though I've been Don't hitting remember it. Anymore. No? Is that one out of your brain? I don't okay. know what the hell you're You don't have any memory of that whatsoever? No. Okay, it's well, like you when you go into a new room, you just oh, forget yeah. it now. Okay, well, you started a sentence. So it's like, like that, except I'm constructing all the rooms in my mind. <laughs> yeah. So give me a break. I, okay. I don't, I don't want to hear it, okay? <laughs> so, uh, all right, it's the uh, it's the Gax turn. We're going to just, I guess, I guess we're going to call it that. It's the Gax. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what it is. Gank attack. As long as we're not ganked by another one. Ganked by Gax? So, this thing, again, loses some, some viscosity to it. Moves up. Ugh. Strength saving throws from the both of you, please. Don't get advantage this time, okay? You still have an advantage from me. Yeah? Isn't that because it, it lasts for an hour? My, mine lasts for an hour. Yes. Dang. Okay. What? Um, 19. 19? 16. 16. Yeah. Okay. This. Again, there's this sort of wet sucking and tugging and mm. trying to get a hold of you. I don't want that shit on my fur. And you get pushed back. Um, Ruby, you managed to sort of like catch yourself on the railing on the stairs. I actually oh. looks like I catch myself on Wooks, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, Wooks, just, you're right there. Okay, so good. there's, there's that's five feet of space. Awesome, you're good. Yeah, nice. Oh, right. <laughs> Fred's is like, I'll go. Talk to you. Back up. All right, uh, we're just gonna hold the action and do another D12 of damage. Oh, I see. So you're gonna continue doing it. Right? Yep. Hold, yeah. Ten lightning damage. From Ten which lightning damage. Oh, Pulling up. Unlimited. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I saw a video of like this this like old lady doing that to a cop, just like being really mad. At it. like, doing that. Uh, yeah, just did, did somebody being, like, like being is somebody very after effects in the, the lightning? No, but game? they needed to. Okay. All right, ten lightning damage again. Another bolt and another hissing and bubbling, and you can actually begin to smell this sort of mm. substance, like actively burning. Mm. Uh, it's a candle. Oh no, a Yankee candle. A Yankee candle. A Yankee. Ga- mm. There we go. Then, oh, oh no, <laughs> more gack. Oh no, another great tidal wave. Ah, uh, that's a lot of gack. Everybody here. So you, you, and you. Please make dexterity saves. Just, just, just hiding around the corner, going like, like <laughs> Nat 20. Hey. Natural 20, very mm. 22. Nice. 13. 13 for you. Everybody else is getting lucky roll stuff. Two. I'm just rolling. Two. Nice. Bad. You had to say that You jinxed Robert. Too yeah. early. So, so you take like nine bludgeoning damage. Hmm. None. Oh, I guess. Never mind. And then she for, also the, had a natural for the people who saved... You take a four. You take four bludgeon. You're knocked prone. Okay. Okay. So again, this this viscous wave shoots out and goes down the stairs and into the lobby, smacking into you and knocking poor Emmanuel just like back to the wall on her back. I mean, basically, yeah, you're you're essentially sitting on a wicker basket right now, uh, out of your uh, (laughs) slightly dizzy, (laughs) just like stuck in this. Wooks. Uh, that'd be me. Can I notice any like weak points on this thing, or is it all just one giant mass? Well, what you can give me a nature, arcana. You can give me. It depends on what you think this creature is, right? So, if you were looking at just like a creature out in the wild, you'd make a nature check, right? If you were looking at something that you perceive to be magical, you'd make an arcana check, right? Or you can just make a straightforward perception check and get sort of generic. less information, get generic information, if you will, right? So that, that's up to you, whichever one you want to try. I'm going to do perception. Okay. 
Ron's head is right there. Uh, let's see. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Well, this thing. Come here, Francis. <laughs> I mean, Francis. You don't necessarily have a lot of experience with. You know, magical creatures per se. Mm. But from what you've heard from other people telling stories in taverns or from the odd book or so, you know that this thing seems like um, an elemental, like a water elemental. I mean, it's doing the same sort of things that a water elemental is known to do, right? To sort of create waves and move about in this liquid like form. It's pollution. And so you know that those. What water elementals, generally speaking, respond strongest to magic and magical attacks because non-magical attacks just kind of, you know, they don't bounce off of them per se, but they don't do a lot. It's like it's like stabbing, you know, the pool, right? It doesn't really do very much. Sure, you may be getting rid of some water, but you look like an idiot while you're doing it. All right. Stab it. Non-neutral. Rublek. So I guess I, w- I will attempt uh, Sacred Flame again. Okay. So it's going to make a deck save. Here we go. 19. <laughs> I can't pickpocket anyone. <laughs> <laughs> you your, whole reason, your whole reason for living. <laughs> 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 I, sh- I should have just stayed on that floating <laughs> ship. On my next turn, I'll attempt Sacred Flame. <laughs> I won. I will, ah. I will walk into the, <laughs> walk into the creature. Just take me, and, and that's when you kill it. <laughs> I try to kill try myself. To die I you guys. Dies, dies of toxic shock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is this? Okay, so Lionel, you're up. So this thing is basically cut off access. Well, it's not filling the hallway. I mean, this is a large creature, right? So it's it's chunky. Um, but it is essentially blocking off access to the rest of uh, the House of Repose, right? So now you're sort of fixed in this kind of opening lobby sort of area. So essentially this thing is saying, did you want your weapons and armor? Well, too bad. Well, fucking... Stop in the name of Gek. <laughs> That's the name of the episode. Nice. Stop Writing that down. How about 19 minutes? 19, that definitely hits. Yeah. You just need Francis in your lap. He fixed it. <laughs> Dog power. All right, Francis, roll for damage. 15. Points Fif- of piercing. 15 points of piercing. So you just fired another arrow. Yeah. So fourth time's the charm. Yes. So 15? Yep. 15 it is. Okay. Can it make a... I think it's... I think it's a deck save. A deck save. I'll double check. So another bolt. It takes off a pretty decent chunk of of the gak, if you will. No, do not drink out of his glass. It's pretty, pretty interesting. What, what, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? Uh, I'm using my bonus action to make it go prone. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, can it even go can, prone? I know. <laughs> I know. That's what I just thought. Well, I mean, after, valid after, thought. There's nothing to say that it can't. What's the name of the the, the thing? Uh, it's one of my bonus sections for my class, my subclass. What's your subclass? The, uh, the is it the Raider? Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. Yeah. Oh, it's that's okay for the rogue subclass. Yeah. Well, you'll have to look that up, because I don't know. That's what I'm doing right now. I imagine it's a dexterity save, but just just to be sure. Yeah. Francis. <laughs> Tomb yeah, Robber, not even a raider. Sorry, guys. I'm not Tomb here. Robber. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, more accurately what you are. You're not mm-hmm. Warcroft. It's a dex no. save? Uh, yep, dex save. Dex save it is. Very good. Rolls a 10. So that fails. So he fails. Yep. Okay. And so he goes pro. So you see, there's this thing. You essentially, like, fire the bolt out. (laughs) You see it sort of takes a chunk out of its sort of lower section. And you see it just sort of, like, as as if you had removed the plate from the jello. It just sort of, like, folds into itself. (laughs) And it is is technically pro. Hmm. 
cured. No, it isn't. Uh-huh. I lied. Immune to uh, it's being not prone. prone. Yep, immune to being prone. But it is so shorter. Basically, now. you took off. It's slightly <laughs> shorter. <laughs> yes. You have to bend over a little bit to reach it. Okay. Uh, Emmanuel, well. I, I thought about it as soon I'll as get up. I said no. Deck cool. go prone. And I could have uh, just given advantage to the next person again. What about kicking it? <laughs> I'm not uh, proficient in kicking. <laughs> Isn't everybody there? I don't know. Oh. They, they don't. You didn't, you didn't do like that. Like, so <laughs> just try to convince it not to attack you. <laughs> so that is uh, 21. Yeah, 21. absolutely. Nice. So four damage. Four more damage, mm-hmm. okay. Again, another wet smack. <laughs> Ruby. Not very right. much, but it's consistent. Well, I mean, yeah, you're dealing. Yeah. I mean, it's, it ticks over over time, right? It, it, it adds mm-hmm. up. I can roll a one. You can't. <laughs> Two, more Two more slashes. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Okay, 16 and 19. Both hit. Slash away. This thing has slowly being... I mean, it was it was more obvious with Lionel's uh, bolt to the... the I was trying to think of a way to combine it. Gak and ankle. <laughs> it took an arrow T to its ankle. 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 Uh hmm. But uh, you have been slowly sort of... It is getting smaller and shorter. and It's as if... I mean, you are shaving off bits of this liquid. So it's not It's not nothing. Mm. Progress it's just like game. a lot more puddle. Yeah, there's floor. a lot more of this sort of, you know, like watery, like uh, not quite as viscous sort of remains on the floor and everything splattered on the walls. So once per turn, I get to inflict additional damage. We just need some soap. Against, I was going to buy uh, some soap. The creature that's already been hit by me. See if that, like, like so kills the creature. So I'm going to do a total of 12. 12 flashing damage. Flashing damage. Okay. <laughs> More sh- 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 splotches and splatters. I'm going to take another bath, but not here. <laughs> All right. It is the creature's turn. The mood has been ruined here. Yeah, ma'am. The creature, again, this, shoots this out another large tentacle, <laughs> and this time slaps in the opposite direction. So it hits me first. It tries to hit you first. Well, I feel... 15. Yeah. Okay. So that is... Cool. Let's see. 16 bludgeoning damage. Ooh. Ooh. For fuck's sake. That would have dropped me out right. And then, tries to smack you. Man. That is a 9. Just hits. <laughs> That's mm. right, because you got the minus one. <laughs> and I'm bludgeoning that. Where you hear you down. just go like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, it's that joke where you hear it from like the other room or mm-hmm. really far away. God damn it. <laughs> There's a great there's a great bit in Strangers with Candy where, where Stephen Colbert is one of the he's one of the mm-hmm. teachers, right? And and um, Amy Sedaris's character comes in and like offers a, a note saying like, Hey, I'm your new transfer student or, or whatever. He takes the note, he's like, Thank you. And she she sits down and he reads it. And then you see him very quickly go he he crumples it up in in one motion. He crumples it up, spins around and goes, God damn it! <laughs> He takes a breath and he turns around. We have a new student. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. So where? So where were we? So the only, to just smack you guys. Talk to. It's your turn. The lightning continues. Lightning continues. Really trying for the unlimited part of unlimited power. <laughs> Six. Six to hit. Yep. It it does have a duration of one minute. That doesn't do. It. No, 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 six damage. Okay, yeah. all right. The, the damage <laughs> continues rolling. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, so more, again, more hissing, more bubbling, more Lightning liquidy. Bolts. You can see some of it actively beginning to sort of, towards the bottom of it, beginning to turn into that sort of diluted, sort of watery, mm-hmm. puddly quality. Turn four? Yeah. Yeah. So I think yours is on three, because it was like one turn. One after, after yeah. Because yeah. I so tried to toll, four, and toll did not work. This is three. Top days is three. So, um, let's see here. Wooks, you're back up. 
Uh, I'd look to see if there's anything like hanging above it. I know we're in a fancy place. There's like a, a chandelier, chandelier or anything mm-hmm. like above it. It's a pretty upscale place, but there's not a chandelier. There is, however, an unlit um, lantern, essentially, for lighting the interior during 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 the night. Kind of the morning. And it's like right above it. Yes, All right, I'm they're take... sort of po- they're you know spaced out in the main hall. It's I'm going to take a shot at it with my my crossbow and try to okay to hit a trick shot. 12. 12, yeah. I mean, the thing's stationary, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's also, you know, it's sizable enough, about yay big, that you can see it. Okay. Two. You fire the thing, it strikes the the lantern, and you can see that the oil that it was holding, you know, to sort of act as a, as a burning fluid, um, you know, splashes out onto this creature and begins to sort of mix in with the gak-like fluid. So it's becoming a sort of blackish, greenish kind of tint to it. As you can see, it's like, like again, like oil and water, sort of the oil slowly, so, well, not like oil. Uh, it's sort of like sifting into this this green green fluid. Uh, can I use my bonus action now and just get the fuck out of there? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, you, well, you haven't, haven't moved, so that's a separate so, thing. Yeah. So. Okay, well, but yeah, yeah, so you back up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of around that corner, because waiting for that tidal wave to come crashing down again. <laughs> <laughs> Fool me once. <laughs> Let's see. Lionel. And twice. Uh. I learned the first time, but mostly because I only have six health left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I'm a halfling. I get to re-roll once. Hey. hey. It's Eleven. another one. <laughs> Eleven? That's, another one. That's, That's a one. miss. Technically. True. Another arrow in wood. You're going to have to pay for a little bit of mm. remodeling, I think, for this place when all is said and done. Emmanuel. A superhero problem. All right. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can do this in this system. but What a, what a great way to start out. <laughs> a great leader. I tag the darkness. <laughs> can I, like, run through this thing with just mm. athletics? Mm. It'll be difficult, but yes. You can try it. And if you fail, Please don't get stuck just in gonna it. Be You're just going to be inside. Yeah, it. I mean, it, it, I mean, you know the consequences of what happens if you, if you mess up. But to yes, fair, you can try. It. From a storytelling point of view, this is win-win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take advantage on this. Okay, okay. sure. I mean, I, I, I would that's too. Fair. <laughs> All right, so roll me athletics. Being inside ooze sucks. Ooh, that's an 18. So hey. that is a 24. Okay. So, so describe to me how you're doing this. I just kind of let out a battle cry and put my arms like this and charge. So you brace yourself and you rush through. Okay. You Kool-Aid man so you, through this man. So this is you, right? Yeah. She stood up last time. Yeah, she, yeah, we already have. So you rush through this thing. What's your What's your speed? 30. Okay. So you rush through. 10, 20, 30. And you manage to, like, pop through the other side. You're covered in this sort of <laughs> gack like substance. You're sticky and cold and wet and weird. It's slimy. But you're out on the other side. As soon as I pop out the other side, I go, oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. And then you go get your fucking armor. Don't orgasm you? immediately. That <laughs> armor takes like an hour, an hour to put on. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> and Damn. we have Ruby back in place. Uh, the gak is still. You're either wearing heavy armor when you start the battle, place. or you're not wearing, wearing armor. The, the, the creature is still there, but there is a rapidly refilling outline <laughs> of, of Emmanuel. So, so what I'm hearing is, if somebody was to attempt to run through it again, they'd have advantage. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> right now. I mean, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I have five hit points, so I think I'm just Ooh. gonna disengage. Stick to the base. Oh, that's. A- yeah. Can I cure wounds, you said? Yeah. Okay. I didn't want to say touch myself and cast cure wounds because that sounds. Well, I mean, that's really the only way you have to do. So, oh. I mean, look, we're not, you know, let's let's not be crude here. We're, not, we're all adults. Five, five seconds later. <laughs> <laughs> not even that. I don't think. All right, so it's D eight plus um, wisdom, wisdom, right? right? Okay. What did you spell casting out of time? Oh, great. Yeah, it's wisdom. Nice. Eight. Oh, ah, whiz. <laughs> Took about 15 so how seconds. Much? <laughs> you got eight back. All right, you got eight, eight, eight points back. So I have 13. 
so it might be able to kill but me. But it's in one not space. Shot. So you do some slight massaging and some wiping off of this sort of gak residue, and you feel Jungle better. It's like an aloe. You're just, <laughs> just <laughs> rubbing the oh, aloe. Oh, it's actually right moisturizing. Oh, <laughs> this is not going to come back to bite me in 12 episodes. <laughs> Wake up in the middle of the night in the jungle tent and <laughs> ah, ah! blisters everywhere. Yeah. Boils. And that's how you become a half slide. <laughs> Yeah, half right yeah, Yeah, yeah. Nice. I, I do still kind of want to play with this. Okay, so this thing, this this gak creature, realizing that you've essentially wily coyote through it, uh, it turns around. Well, it creates this sort of again another meaty tentacle and tries to essentially swipe back at you. Right? This is gonna end well. <laughs> I I can't tell if that's sarcasm right now. <laughs> Twenty three. Ooh. Yeah, that hits. So okay. I was going to heal you first. And then you <laughs> moved, and I couldn't. 14 bludgeoning damage. It didn't kill me outright, so I'm down. Whew. Okay. Pump. And then it strikes out in the front and tries to hit you. Uh-oh. Right. Fine, look. I'm using, the, I'm using another one. I'm using a different one. Just doing like... What? I didn't even say anything. 23. Jesus. <laughs> Just doing like a just, just washing any... machine spin, just fifteen yeah. bludgeoning damage. Jesus. Hump. So this yeah, it essentially like does like <laughs> a, a, a pirouette, <laughs> and walk away, and smacks both Emmanuel and Ruby to the ground. So that leaves can't hit him. About to die. And what's your nickname? <laughs> <laughs> I hit him once. The seeking a new party. <laughs> <laughs> Roy oh, is seeking a new party. Everyone I love, everyone I get close to dies. That's my nickname. <laughs> because you leave. We well, are clear. Let them to die. Uh, talk to. All right. Uh, the lightning continues. All right. Let's see how much damage. Two. Two whole damage. Yep. Very good. Roll, he's got the oil in him. Maybe that. Uh, roll, roll a d6 <laughs> sure. for me. All right. Oh, I hate it when you use that tone. Four. Okay. That's not a that's not a good that's not a good noise. Alright. So you fire, the lightning shoots out, strikes the, the creature, there's again a hissing and bubbling, and then you see that the oil that's trapped in its body actually catches flame. Nice. And you can see that this thing is now essentially burning from the inside as you see the oil begin to light. And, and, and move about. It is now actively burning. This is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you is this better or worse? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Time will tell. Well, it's really that that just like spins or does right like the tidal wave. Works. And he was making. Uh, I'm gonna attempt sacred flame it. again and no, maybe grab flame. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You'd like see what happens. My worry now is that if it engulfs anybody, they will also be on. Oh fire. look, there are 18. two bodies on the ground right Let's there. Who automatically fail dexterity and strength saving throws. I've yet. That's three times I've tried to hit it. Lionel. Oh, the dice are just hot. It's not. It's not you. It's me. That's that's. I'm very it. inaccurate <laughs> unless I'm shooting at lamps. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep a ten. A ten misses. Yeah. We only got one advantage. Bunk. Hey, Emmanuel, I need a death save. We're getting close to it. It might be time to use shit. Okay, that's bad. How bad? <laughs> that's a bad. Just a bad. Just well, a bad. It's okay. not. It's not, not a one bad. Not a one yeah. bad. Yeah. Okay. It's not that's a next turn. <laughs> Ruby, I need a death save, please. <laughs> Because that's that's why we hold on to the green in case we need to re-roll 12. one. So that's a success. Ooh, very good. I'm just worried a tidal wave, and now it's just going to be like a flaming wave. Yeah. <laughs> just like after it leaves, it's, it's, everything's going to be on fire. Yeah. So this thing is it's sort of bad. You see that this creature is sort of. Oh, yeah. It's reacting to the fact that it has fire in it, <laughs> as you would expect oh. from any sentient yeah. creature. Now it has this, a breath weapon. This thing oh, yeah. is. <laughs> oh, man. If I really wanted to end this campaign now, you know what would happen. So this thing is sort of like writhing and bubbling, and you see it essentially passes over you, moves here, um, keeps going. So so it was here, right? Just trying to get to the pool. Five. Yeah. Oh no. Ten. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> we got to stop. <laughs> 20, right? Am I right so far or did I go too far? I think that was 20. Five. 
10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Shit. Am I right so far? Yep. And this thing is now actively sort of like... Like way Eventually like. washing itself back down the hallway. Well, Witch Bolt stops. It is out of range. Okay, then talk to... What else do you do? Firebolt time. <laughs> okay. From one bolt to another. Firebolt. Yep, that's good. Fire intensifies. Yep. Ooh, I need more extra fire. Oof. Uh, 13? That's a mess. Damn. Oof. Now you could... Yeah, I'm going to save it for the two people who are about on death's sure. door. <laughs> and I was about to re-roll death. that yeah. one yeah. and I'm, just get like a regular death. I'm going to move over here and kind of take cover behind the stairs because I'm small. Take cover behind Ruby's body. <laughs> yeah. Do we have any I don't healing potions? have any healing. I can attempt a manual heal, but... I believe uh, two of the people with healing are, oh, unconscious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think we, we still have some healing potions left from, if we do, from our we lich. Do not. <laughs> Whoops, you back up. This thing is sort of... It looks as if it is... I do have one on my body. It looks as if it is retreating in what seems to oh, you no, like a I hurried don't. panic. Oh, yeah. it's sure. <laughs> so I, I think it's trying to get back to the pool and join its massive counterpart and turn the fire off. The rest of the water. Um, is it within 60 feet? It looks like it's pretty So close. where are you? Is it only so move there? 30 feet? Yeah. They only moved 30 uh, and I was... 5, five <laughs> kind of 10, 15, no, 20, 10, 20, 25, 30, 30, 40, 45, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to cast Sacred Flame again, and I'm going to hit this motherfucker. <laughs> okay, sounds good. I if mean, famous last Jason, words, but... <laughs> it Whoa! Oops. Eight. Yes, I finally hit the fucker. Yes. Okay. <laughs> then what D8. happens? Like uh, I roll a D8, yeah. Nice. So it's a D10. D10. Is it plus your wisdom, or is it just a D? No, I haven't used Sacred uh, Flame in 20 years. Uh, it's just a Radiant Damage. So. Cool. Radiant Damage. Three. Day. Three Radiant Damage. But it's already on fire. So John. This thing barely has time to notice that there's an additional sort of <laughs> hot thing on it. But you do damage. Very good. Uh, Lionel. Try to not get prone again. See how that goes. Okay, well, you can't. Yes, I know. You, Lionel, you're going to have to move if you want to shoot at it because you yeah, can't oh, see well, it. It's, it is broken. You can see there's that, there's that corner. Francis, <laughs> stop. All right. Going to have to take him here in a moment. I know. That was <laughs> no. 24 to hit. That definitely hits. Nice. So you're, still fi- you're still firing with your short bow, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, no one's by If only so. someone was adjacent. Damn. Well. Yeah. Seven you points. You do what you can. Seven points of piercing? Yep. All right. Another sort of, uh, you see another arrow fly. It goes down the hallway and sort of embeds itself into the back, quote unquote, of this thing. Can we get a death save? Yes. Mm. It will attempt a dexterity save. Thirteen. It rolled a five. So the next person has advantage. All right. So the next person to attack it yes. has advantage. Sounds good. Emmanuel, I need another save from you, please. Got that green left. Oh, bad. Oh boy. No, okay. Two bads. Oh. It was a two, it wasn't a one. And then Ruby, I need another death save, please. I guess I could have done intelligence. Fourteen. That's good. Fourteen, good. Yeah, so too good. Alright. The creature then you can see continues to back away. Five, ten, fifteen. And then you see it disappear into the greater sort of public bath area where you were before. Right? There's still patrons down there, right? <laughs> <laughs> do we hear screaming? Well, do you guys hear screaming? Yeah, I suggest okay. we burn the building down and leave. <laughs> you, you, you joke. I have my yeah. shit. <laughs> now, you you heard I mean, some panic earlier. Mm-hmm. You're not hearing any panic right now. You you have the assumption that Hopefully the other not. customers, the other patrons, have gotten the hell out of there. Okay, so now talk to them. Well... I'm shit at medicine, so it's a one in four chance, but let's give it a shot. Uh, we're going to volt over. Oop. 
So you're going to make your way over to the manual? Yep. Okay. And attempt to stabilize. All right, roll that medicine check. Francis is Hey, 16. All right, stabilized. Oh. Roll your d4, please, madame. Three hours. Three hours. All right. Very good. So you're stabilized. Operation not dead complete. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, so it's not save or die. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to what's your passive perception? Uh, all of ten. Okay. Yep. All right. Really, you were just in a lap. <laughs> Oops. It's because I'm. Uh, I will. I will yeah. run up to Ruby and and do a medicine. <clears throat> Ruby here. Medicine check. Uh, Nat twenty plus three, so. Yep. Stable. That's very good. So you're exceptionally stable. <laughs> in, fact, in fact, I don't understand why they don't do this. You roll a natural twenty, so you hold pretty high. Take a hit point. Hey. Great. So I have one hit point. You stabilize her so well that you manage to sort of coax a like little bit of health back. To CPR. It. Yeah. So, oh. Sort of um, pummel her back to life. <laughs> <laughs> Clear. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> It's that it's that part of the movie where the the guy the guy's like, wait, <laughs> give me that witch bolt. I was gonna complain Sick. about the CPR, but now I think I prefer that. that. Good thing they haven't invented um, the drill and shot. Uh, uh, the, oh yeah, the did, shock defibrillators. Yeah. Yes, defibrillators. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Lionel. That, that's what Francis. the shocking grasp was for. Steven, right you? for close encounters. Well. uh... I'm just I can't see it, so I'll, 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 I'll put myself 5, 10, 15, 20. You're going to go down the hallway with your bow drawn? 25. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. SWAT style. <laughs> see, what's, your, what's your passive perception? Uh, 16. 16? You hear, coming from the main bath area, a kind of a bubbling noise. I use my bonus action, dash. Three, five, ten, fifteen. Well, the, uh, well, don't pay attention. The opening don't is sort of over here. Right. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Okay. So you've come, you, so you dash down the way, and you can see that inside, this thing has sort of taken whatever form was menacing you earlier. It has now sort of subsumed itself back into the rest of this liquid in the... Uh, in the public bath area, and it is now actively sort of churning and roiling. You can see it's bubbling, and there's what looks like a sort of a vaguely greenish tinted sort of steam kind of escaping from. It's as if it's as if the whole thing is sort of actively boiling. Mm. The whole pool is boiling. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. The whole Emmanuel system is gonna be fucking. So you're stabilized. Two us. Unconscious. How you feel? Unconscious. Okay. <laughs> Ruby, you don't feel the tooth. You have one head point. You're prone. Nickels. Um. Okay. I stand up and probably dash down to the baths. Okay. Five. Ten, no, thank you. Necessary. Okay. <laughs> five, five, I said thank you. Forty. Forty-five. Right here. That's 45 feet. Yep. Yeah, I want to get a view of what's going if on. If you're there. saying dash literally, meaning you're double moving at double your speed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you can see the same thing that uh, uh, Lionel was seeing. This, this huge sort of gack like liquid in the public bath area that is actively sort of boiling of its own accord. It doesn't seem to be like the, the hot coals that were underneath sort of the grating that was underneath the public area. It shouldn't be doing that. It wasn't that hot. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, um, what would I roll to know to figure out the best way to fucking get rid of this thing? Like the best way to kill it? The best way to is there a drain? Yeah. Well, um, you again, you can do a perception check for just some general information, or you can try Arcana or Nature. Take this. <laughs> just put it on the ground. <laughs> well, it doesn't want to be on the ground. It keeps falling. Well, too bad, Francis. Um, it's a big cup of coffee. What'd you get? Well, I was trying to figure out what I was going to... Which round? Went with 
kind of like a perception. I went with perception and got a 11. And 11. Okay. You know that your efforts have caused the mass of this thing to be considerably less. It looks like there what was essentially um, probably several gallons of this thing is now um, enough to fill maybe two kiddie pools worth of you know of, of substance, right? Um, there doesn't appear to be any immediate um, anything in the immediate area that might. Assist. That might assist you, right? There's a lot of sort of like, you know, stone benches and, and and towels and such and like, you know, a wicker baskets and things. Nothing that seems like it would make a dent in this thing. As far as you can tell... I need like a toaster. <laughs> <laughs> well, this thing is actively boiling already, so the, the question is, you're not sure, but you wonder whether or not adding more fire to this is actually going to help. Or not? I was thinking electricity. But your your surmi- your surmising says damage of any kind ought to help. Right. That's about as much as you can get out of this situation. Okay. Now I will point out that in this greater area, uh, this has a large. This is obviously there's a vaulted ceiling and everything. Um, there are those same lanterns hanging periodically. Above that are you'd assume periodically some worker comes in with a ladder and then refills the oil and lights them during the evening hours and stuff like that. So okay. there is that, and that's uh, that's obvious enough to notice just when you come in. You can see them hanging from the chains. You want to get one of those down? You can try. Yeah, ask the shortest person to <laughs> with a <the> bow <laughs> who I can use as a grappling hook. Yeah. Okay. So just, just the bow, not like and the arrows. <laughs> so Ruby, that was your that was your turn, right? Yeah, okay. Just kind of yell over my shoulder. Top day. Hmm? Uh, maybe more. Just kind of Lighty like thingy. Uh, well, electricity is not a thing. Lightning. The Can thing do continues lightning? to boil. Talk. Quick, quickly. Dash over there because I don't think I can get there in one move. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, this is your movement, 40, 25. 45. No, it's still 30. It's still I scamper. Now. Okay. Yeah. So you're over here next to um, uh, Lionel. There. You can see inside. Can I make an arcana check? Please? Sure. Yeah. The first to push that angle? I'll, 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 I'll let it. Oh. Bonus action. Or something. Hey. 21. 21. 21. Okay. So with an Arcana check, you know that this thing, this is definitely an elemental. Okay. It should be a water elemental. But there's something wrong with it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Obviously, water elementals are not green. Green, usually. They're yeah, usually, yeah. you know, the color of water. <laughs> so this thing has got some kind of... It's like you don't know if it's water. been... If it's been magically modified, or if it's been tainted in some way, or cursed, or what. But there's something wrong with this water el- this water elemental. Otherwise, every sort of assumption you have about water elementals still holds. Like, you know, acid doesn't, acid doesn't work very well. Non-magical attacks don't work very well. The thing is immune to, like, poison, and it can't be knocked prone, it can't be exhausted. You know, it is... A force of living sort of elemental ness. You know that freezing it mm-hmm. usually helps. You know Did that you know? Um, boiling, it's sort of actively boiling. You know, you've heard, did you go to 22? 21. 21. You've heard stories of water elementals seeking out bodies of water and sort of boiling them to create. Rejuvenation. Helpers, if you will. Spawn, ah. mini Spawnlings, uh, if you will. No thanks. So, so you're going to get a quick little yap out of the cobalt. It's spawning. What? <laughs> what? No. Wait. <laughs> Speaking of which. Oh. <laughs> emerging. It's like a salmon. Emerging yeah. from this, this gack like sort of pool. Oh no. You see this creature 
um, made of this, again, this sort of very light green sort of steam, coagulate into a, uh, a, a, a like an impish looking figure with a long sort of pincer like nose and wings, and it sort of moves about like steam. Um, and it has sort of conjured itself uh, in on top, and it's now floating above this this pool. Oh boy. Okay. Wooks. Um, I'm right by the front desk there, right? So yes. I'm gonna see if there's any like extra oil and stuff that they use to fill those lanterns, like behind the desk. Give me a perception check. Uh, 12 plus 3, 15? Yep, you can see one um, sort of rotund looking, almost like a like a big Chinese lantern kind of shape, but it's a it's a big urn, essentially, filled with oil that's tucked in just behind the cap. All right, um, I'm going to pick that up, pick that up, and then just try to run towards the, the pool as fast as I can. Okay, 5, 10, 15, not 20, all the 25, 30. <laughs> yeah. You're 30 speed, 30 right? is yep. speed, yeah. cool. So you're taking oh this boy. thing, it's sloshing around in there, but you've got it. Okay. Uh, Lionel. We are going to burn this place out. <laughs> yes! That was my plan. <laughs> I'll go for the chandelier that's above the... The, the lantern? Yeah. yeah. There are no chandeliers. What is this? The Palace of Versailles? <laughs> well, I mean, it is the quiet repose. Yeah, it's, it's the House of Repose, it's but it's not, you know, the mansion of repose. <laughs> It is merely a <laughs> I'm a halfling. <laughs> oh, I was very confused for a second. It's like, are you having a that's, stroke? Or? That's how you know Lance is rolled. So much better than the, the, what you just rolled. What you just rolled. He, he just gold blooms to success. Okay. It's just like ricochets. <laughs> and okay, that's a, that's a good point. Yeah, so the arrow goes by, ends up ricocheting off one, um, like the ceiling one lantern and striking the other one. It smashes again. Oil pours <laughs> into this thing. <laughs> Pours into the pool. <laughs> pours into the pool. Catches, f- you know, you can see it actively catching fire as it makes contact. So it takes another oh, a light. Fingers crossed. All right. Does quantity of oil help? <laughs> it's continuing to burn. You can see that as to. this thing is being oil makes contact catches flame, you can see more of this, the actual substance of this creature is beginning to disappear and sort of form burn into, off. to burn off. Right, yeah. Smoky. We're Chernobyl now. Uh, Emmanuel. Having a conversation with my god about <laughs> <laughs> preferential evening. Which, which, which one is your god? I'm trying to like... Uh, is it Elmo? That sounds right. Have you tried the one with the, well, the cords? Well, the uh, one that's about uh, relieving yeah. suffering. The endurance, I mean, the perseverance, and suffering. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Sounds good. So you're having a, a good, excellent conversation <laughs> about how much better just a little bit of hedonism is to literally having the shit beat out of you on a regular basis. Have you ever seen what Elmater looks like? Because uh, unless you know he's, you're he's, into um, it. yeah. He, he looks rough yeah. all the time. Uh, let's see. Just wasted all the time, or just like... No. No, no I mean, like, like, he's like bleeding actively, covered in these cords and everything. He's the broken god. The lord on the rack. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you know, so... Okay. So this, this green steam-like entity, um, you can see that this gentleman flies forward... Oh, Five, my turn. Ten, the imp got a turn. Fifteen. Oh no. Oh no. It makes a beeline towards you. I was oh, really hoping that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, hold on. So five, ten, fifteen. It it makes a beeline towards you and then sort of course corrects at the last minute mm-hmm. into the into the corner of the hallway and then you see it sort of like oh, puff no. up slightly. Oh no. And then, Yep. There's this exhalation of scalding mm. steam. Oh. So everybody within a 15 foot cone here. So 5, 10, 15. So these people. Huzzah! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> these people need to make you're a deck save, please. You're going to be the sole survivor of Ooh, this. Wait! If I can get out after I try to get the place half down. Half HP or below, I get advantage on deck save throws. Nice. Okay, well, you still need the deck save. Alright, come on, dice. Maybe. 13. Hey. 13. 19. Okay. 
Thank Christ I fucking <laughs> rolled with advantage because I rolled a one on the other one. <laughs> oh. Okay, sorry, 15. Okay. 19. 19. 13 scores. So each of you take three fire damage. I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> as you're essentially blasted so as if somebody had Start knocked the, the wheel off of a steam pipe and this mm. thing had just shot out at you. I'm just going to go upstairs. I'm just going to get my armor. Somebody just opened up the tea kettle. Nope. Yes. Basically, yeah. Just sprayed you with the hot tea kettle. Oof. Yeah. That burns. All right. Ruby, now it's your turn. I'll make a death save. Please do. 16. 16. Very good. That's That's a pass. Okay. So you didn't take the leash off of one? <laughs> the creature continues to burn. <clears throat> Talk to. It. All right. Uh, now you're jostling so by with that. I'm still behind you. It's sloshing mm-hmm. all over the place as I'm like, running towards you. So, so I'm going to ask you a real simple question. <laughs> Pointing towards that. Going, Do you fire? feel lucky? <laughs> fire. All right. I'm going to. I'm going to fire bolts. It's already on fire, though. It is. Yeah, it's. Didn't he say it was no? On fire? You're talking about the yours. Oh, my yours. thing. Oh, I thought. You, okay. No, it's just oil. And it's it's, it's in pointing to you. But he's fire. already on fire. So if I get in there and throw it, it's just gonna. It's assuming it doesn't go out. Yeah. It's, uh, that's, that's or it doesn't explode. Yeah. Spoiler doesn't explode in, in your hands. <laughs> well, thankfully, it's not like one. gasoline, so yeah. it won't like. It won't. You know, it's not explosive. It's not napalm. But it will. Highly It will burn. Yeah. That is its intended use, is to burn. So, as long as you keep it above you, heat rises, you'll be fine, right? <laughs> right. So, you're essentially oh, trying boy. to communicate this to him in the span of, like, two He's seconds. Saying, yeah, just because Hold. it's like, where do I, where do I shoot I have this? a lot of wisdom, there? so I get it. <laughs> you see, like, a flaming fingertip. You're like, fire? Yeah. All right, oh. we're, we're going to try to light his oil on fire. Okay. Please, please roll. <laughs> I should, angle it slightly. I should be using, what are you using for this? Fire Firebolt. Bolt. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Twelve. That's enough. I mean, it's a pretty okay. obvious, especially if you, in reaction, I assume, sort of like tilt it slightly. Tilt slightly yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you fireball shoots out, catches the oil inside the urn on fire. There's this sort of, and now this thing is actively like <laughs> as if you had begun flambéing. <laughs> like I'm like at a Benihana. <laughs> yeah, basically. It's like whoosh. <laughs> this thing is now with <laughs> active flame in front of you. With this urn. <laughs> Gotta slow down. Can't slosh. <laughs> Can't oh, slosh now. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's go fast. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I, I, I think I'm gonna try to get out of this thing. Well, no. I'll stick by it so you've got a chance to get that sneak attack off. Okay. But I'm I'm gonna, like, move out of the main way of that sure. doorway. Mm-hmm. Whoops. And I run. Uh, yeah, I, I run the rest of the way up to the door 10, there if I can. 15, 20, 25. The right, the Olympic right at the door. So there you Except are. Yep. We're lighting yep. the door. And I just, I just chuck the oil into the, the room towards the. Give me an athletics check, please, because this thing is pretty heavy and it's also on fire. <laughs> and it's also fair. Did we mention that it's on fire. And the more you've been uh, running down the hallway, the more you've realized that like there's yeah. no rubber on this urn, so it's getting hot. Uh huh. Well, that seems uh, like a good time to do a reroll. Okay. Yeah, we'll use the. All right. Last, last good fortune. Sixteen. Eight. 16. Very good. The building's on fire. (laughs) That was my intent. (laughs) I wanted to burn this down a while ago. I didn't even want to come into this fucking place. (laughs) I was doing it so she would be comfortable. I wanted to go to the tavern, but no one wanted to listen to me because I'm the new man in the group. No one even... You didn't even mention it. No one said boo fucking squaw about going to this place. I was looking. Yeah, sure, I don't right. know if that's a phrase. <laughs> that's not a phrase. <laughs> Who says that? No one said goddamn anything about coming here. No, 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 no. I, I know, but no you... one said grim stupidly about nothing. Yeah, <laughs> uh, are, we, are we like Flanders here now? <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> okay. Zippity dee doo da. Yeah, zippity doo da da. No one said goddamn no, anything. anything. <laughs> 
We'll I was looking forward to okay. the question. So you take this thing, and you throw the... Oh, I assume you're... Are you chucking just the oil, or are you just oh, chucking the earth? The, the whole thing. Oh, I just, it's going gonna, it's gonna to spread everywhere when it's it gonna goes. It's going to flip back. So you <laughs> chuck this thing. It shatters against the sort of what remains of this, this, this uh, gak-like liquid. A whole thing catches fire. And then very quickly, you see that the lining around the uh, the public pool, the pool itself, catches fire. And then towels start to catch fire. Yes! And then the <laughs> hanging drapery starts to catch fire. And then you realize that this thing has essentially, through the smoke, through the fire and the flames, yeah. uh, <laughs> we'll this, carry on. this thing, you can see, looks like it's evaporated. Yeah. But now... It's the public s- bath area <laughs> is on fire. Cool. Now, now it's a steam elemental? Yeah. Oh, no. However, this steam creature mm-hmm. that had come out... is stronger now. Still there. <laughs> now he's 80 feet tall. <laughs> so now you have a rapidly you have only burning... Stronger. You have a burning building. Mm-hmm. That, that fire will eventually spread. Uh, and you have a, a steam creature to deal with. But that water elemental seems to be gone. If only we had, like, control water... God, that would be great. And just like, why not control fire, fire. <laughs> and tell it to control just cut it out? Would start be great. start yeah. snuffing some fire. Just out stop, here. man. <laughs> Does anyone? It seems like a pretty high level spot. Uh, oh yeah, that'd be a little. I don't say any of this. Yeah. So have fun. Yeah. Try to drag my body out, please. Okay, and Lionel, you're, you're back up. Oh, Shoot that steam creature. There we go. Twenty-three. Well, the first day you come home. You're going to be banished from the city. You're trying I to know. get up. You're just going to kill the thing in the corner? I mean, he gets to shank it. Well, I mean, I can move. <laughs> I'm <and> leaving. <laughs> Seven, nine, twelve. Twelve 12 damage. Okay. I, I would appreciate you sticking around a little bit. <laughs> Arrow goes through, shoots through this thing. You hear a kind of like a high pitch, like kettling noise, right? Um, and you can see a large hole as if you had blown. Through a smoke, like I tried to blow a smoke ring, essentially, and this half of this thing is now gone. Nice. Mind getting in melee? Uh, can it make a dex save then? Hey. Sure. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Either way works here. Roll to four. Ooh, next person who attacks it gets advantage. Yes. Okay. Okay, you can keep your distance. <laughs> Emmanuel. <laughs> Still having that conversation. Still? Are, are you enjoying it at least? Yes. Okay, all right. So you're having a polite conversation. You look over and you see the it's fire. Like, oh, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, yeah. She can't see you. Oh, yeah. The, the, the merits. The pro and con. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You have a nice little philosophy talk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Roll the performance okay. or, or persuasion. Oh, wait. I don't get to go I, I, don't, I don't know. But this thing moves you need, forward. Like, a rhetoric at that point almost. It's a little bit of both. Moves up. Mm-hmm. Who is this? That's what's right? Yeah. This uh, steam creature tries to claw you. Oh. It rolls a 20, non natural. Oh. It Ooh. So it gives you. What for? Quite the lashing. Ooh. So two slashing damage and two fire damage. Hmm. As you essentially feel as if somebody it's took. A, it's like, a very wet fire. Like a hot <laughs> rag and sort of <laughs> whacked you. <laughs> Hot towel. I, I'm used to that. I'm used to that being at the at the spot. That's kind of nice. <laughs> well, not put, directly in the eyes yeah. and face region, but yes, it, 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 it's, it's like the McDonald's. Here, yes. but like yeah. too right hot here, scalding <laughs> hot towel. This is Ruby. Star Wars. It is okay. not. It is probably no. Jurassic Park. Oh, no, Jurassic Park. It is Jurassic Park. It's I rolled an world. eight, so that's a fail. Yeah. Okay. And one fail. Yeah. One fail. You talk to John Williams. Also, do we're gonna uh, draw the short sword and, and uh, attempt to stab this thing with advantage, meaning I can actually use sneak attack as well. Okay. Oh, good. Uh, that's a nineteen to hit. Nineteen to hit. That definitely hits. That's two d six, two, four, and two eight. Eight damage. Okay. So you. Take out your short sword. Are you just like slashing at this thing, or is it a pierce? Or probably a stab. Yeah. yeah so like, uh, and you manage to. You're not even sure if it's the blade itself or just the force <laughs> of it. You see that the thing sort of evaporates, as if you've blown out a birthday candle. The thing's mm-hmm. gone. All right. So, 
Looks like the immediate threats, apart from, of course, <laughs> the, the giant raging bat fire. area, are gone. I'll so just put that over there with the rest of the fire. Yes. <laughs> Whoops. It's now your turn. Uh, do we know how fast this fire is spreading? Give me an intelligence check. Okay. It, it is an oil fire. <laughs> so faster, I'm going to say. Uh, five. <laughs> five. You... All you know is that fire back. <laughs> I am back. Uh, so, uh, being the selfish prick I am, I just jump over Ruby and just book it towards the door. Well, that's okay. unfortunate, given that I have like 700 gold pieces in my fucking room upstairs. Uh, I'm a little more that. worried about my life than the gold at the moment. There you go. Are you dashing, too, or are you... Uh, no, not yet. Okay, so you just... I'm just getting the fuck away from the fire. down the hallway. Very good. So which one's the stairs to the second floor? He's standing right by. Right. You, you, might, you, might, you might want to see how fast that fire is spreading to see if you can get the fuck out. Lionel. There's a window I guess you could jump we, out of on the second floor. We got floor. some people we need to stabilize. <laughs> there Do you are, have potions? There's at least, you know, there's at least two windows on the second floor that you can Scott Pilgrim your way out. Awesome. <laughs> no, he just left. Pretty... It's pretty fucking uh, rich over there, Wooks. You set the fire, and then you go, nope, and you run away and leave the rest of us to hang That was it. my intent the whole Look, time. It's pretty logical, <laughs> even if you start a fire, to be like, I don't want to be in this. Yeah. This I, s- I saved everyone by killing the giant slime monster. You don't, you don't see any arsonists who are like, I want to get in there and make sure it's done. <laughs> I'll, I I am chaotic neutral, so... Well, he's got you yeah. there. I'll take the... Oh, no. Five... 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So you rush up to the second floor. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be looking for, like, Emmanuel's bags. Okay. Um, so some of the smoke has started to already sort of filter in here. You can see that there's not any active flames, but give me a perception check, but a disadvantage. Disadvantage. Don't roll D12. I mean, that would be really disadvantaged. Yeah. yeah, that's okay. More so that's game. a... Nine, no, that's 20. Not natural. Very Damn. good. Okay. So there's not a whole lot of smoke, but it's enough to sort of create a haze and where it's, it's difficult to sort of focus on finer details. But you see... The advantage being a half Very clearly. I mean, you're low to the ground, yeah. right? You see very clearly Easier that um, it, the door to Emmanuel's room is wide open, and you can see... Sorry. Would it be? Yes. Okay. Well, I mean, you didn't open it, yeah. but somebody else It doesn't mean it hasn't been opened. Uh, It's wide open, and you can see... um, It would have been locked. You would have seen, stashed in the corner, um, what looks like, uh, you know, a sort of a a, a a a rucksack Mm -hmm. of of her things. Can I do, since, since I can have a bonus and a regular action to dash, can I do that twice? I think technically. Yeah. Technically, I, I guess. Yeah. I don't think the doubling. So then I stacks. get like another twenty-five feet. Okay. Yeah. Then you can very quickly find it, rush in there, and you've got hands on. Okay. Sounds good. Emmanuel has a conversation. Going. <laughs> it's going pretty well. We're getting pretty deep. Yeah, they're going into sort of the finer. Well, you know, Saucer always talked about the signifying of blah blah blah. Sounds good. Ruby. A lot in the mail. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. As you do. Sixteen. It has two saves. Successful saves. Two right? success and one failure. Okay. And we have the weakest character down here looking at two bodies <laughs> going... Uh... <laughs> Talk to... <laughs> so you saw Wooks just kind of like... Woo, 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 yep. <laughs> rubble, rubble his way out. <laughs> I swear well. to God, if somebody doesn't get my stuff, I'm going to be super pissed when I die. I mean, yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna yes. become a wraith. <laughs> oh <laughs> man, wouldn't that be fun? Coming back and haunting your asses. Yes. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm just bolting upstairs to grab my stuff, and then bolt back down to try to figure out what I can do with my six strength <laughs> <laughs> and no other spells. <laughs> but yeah, I guess you get that spell book. That, that yeah, that. that's. That's oh. that's money. <laughs> Fifty gold. Yeah, and, and the five hundred gold to potentially replace a burnt spellbook. Is it five hundred gold? Well, that's how much I've got. So I don't know how much. I've got. So what the hell are you doing? Bolting upstairs. Okay. Yeah. So you full speed. So where are you? So you're here. So this is gone. Yes. 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40. You're dashing, right? Yep. Yeah. 50, 55, 60. So you're at basically at the top of the stairs. Yep. So you see through the haze, you can just barely make out a figure in what looks like Emmanuel's room with a rucksack. Okay. Whoops. Uh, I guess I could try to help Emmanuel in some way. It, at least drag one of them out of the eventually burning building. Should I try to cure them or just drag them out? I Probably mean, cure, cure would be a cure would be solid because then they can drag themselves out. Yeah, right? all right. And I'm, I'm going to point out, pick them up Paladin. by their bootstraps. Very has the capability of doing more healing. Paladin. So then you I don't mean, have to drag you had anybody. Heals this whole time. Uh huh. I'm <laughs> selfish, though. Yeah, well, you sure fucking I'm, did. That's I'm a why cleric. I was like, oh, I mean, only we had a cleric who could heal us. I said that directly at him. You guys met him on a, on a fucked up pirate ship where he was obviously. And you haunted. haven't been listening to me this whole time. <laughs> you I'm, just, say I'm just saying there's some, there some issues between between you. That you don't even know where the fuck cleric? I'm from. Are you sure cleric or not just a rogue? <laughs> Hey, I mean, there can be there's evil and clerics. selfish clerics. There's helping people, yeah. and then there's putting people between you and the dangerous thing. Yeah. yeah. So you're so. He- well, but technically you're helping person. Yourself. Yeah. So what do you want to do? So what am I do? Uh, curing wounds? Is that what I, I do? Here? You want to do cure wounds? Is, is that the, the best course of action? Yep. To you heal? be a D8. Did you prepare that spell? D8 plus. I mean, you yeah. don't... You don't have to. I mean, he's not a cleric of life, so he doesn't get it automatically. That's true, yeah. So, let's see. Can I, can I see your sheet? Just so everyone looks? Cool. So, it's a D8 plus 5? Right. Paired spells. D8 plus your whiz. Well, what is your that my spell casting? Technically, fire? you do not have cure wounds prepared. Oh, okay. There, there you go. Dear. Well, that solves healing that problem. problem. All right. Not healing already. You, really you have a charm person, disguise self, bane, detect magic, bless... Mirror image, pass without trace, hold person, enhance ability, and lesser restoration. Nice. So the lesser... Um, restoration lesser restoration wouldn't do anything. That's during a rest, right? Well, no, that's, no, that's that a, would be like disease a, and, oh, and stuff right. like that. Blind on it's that. Like, a, <sighs> like a finger or... A... So I guess I'll just try to drag her out of the building with me. Okay, so you go here. Uh, give me a, an athletics check, please. Uh, 19. Okay, yeah. Damn. So you're able to grab uh, her and sort of like hoist her slightly, and the two of you, so you moved five, so that's 10, 15, 20, 25. So you're able to sort of drag her and you back toward at the at the, at the the top of this little staircase yeah. leading to the lobby. Sounds so you got good. A potion? It's in the bag. Lionel. Grab the bag, but before I like strap on the bag, get the healing potion out and start front and back down. Cool. As you are exiting the room and beginning to head towards the stairs, you hear what sounds like people shouting like outside. from outside, from the from the window at the far end of the hall. Um, you hear some commotion going on. It sounds like, oh my god, the, the place is so far. Somebody, somebody, help! Call for, call the, you know. Call the fire brigade. Call the fire brigade. Grab the buckets. Yeah, et cetera, et cetera. Right, you hear That's that kind of thing. That's not going to help for an oil <laughs> fire. <laughs> so oh, you no. head down. Well, not all of it's an oil. You almost run directly into Takta, who's at the who's at the top of the who's at the top of the stairs. We're both similar size. It's always good. Yeah, we're both small, so we can both occupy the same yeah. space. <laughs> so that was let's see, ten feet across the hallway. And then, so you have 20 feet left. I, I only have 25 movement, so... Okay. So if I double dash, I have 75 feet. So. Okay, 10, and then, so yeah, so you're able to make your way all the way back down the stairs, because that's 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So you've got, you've got some extra... Th- 40, 45, 50... Well, I'll go the other way. 45, 50, 55, 60, right? <laughs> so you're going to... you well, gonna. I guess if I used... That was 50? Yeah, it is, it's, it's at least... So that's 10, uh, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, okay, 60. So, so that'll take all, all yeah. my actions. I but mean, you managed to... You basically, like... You hold know, on! I was just, like... Yeah, you're right like there at, at, at her body, you know, sort of, like, trying to catch your breath because of the smoke and the, and the exertion. Uh... 
I'm going to assume that your conversation is still going well, unless you say that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, it took a turn for I don't worse. know. Am I noticing the smoke, you know? <laughs> I, I like the idea you're in that, like... Are you cooking, God? <laughs> you're, you're in, like, a between-two-fern-style <laughs> setup. Your conversation in the sort of the white void as you're talking to Il, 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 Ilmater. You realize that you're, you're sweating slightly. There's a kind of, like, a sheen of sweat on you. I'm not suffocating. No. Ilmater asks if you're okay, if you need to lie down or a moment to just sort of... No, no, I'm good. Very passionate. Yeah, you're low to the ground. The smoke's not getting in your face. Ruby. It's two. Two. Oh, no. So I'll you. Talk to <laughs> Continuing to run to my room. Okay, so you run up to your room. Okay. Uh, the door is... Did you leave? Did you lock your... Did you lock your room? I imagine, yeah. Okay. Key on hand. All right, so you um, unlock it. Swing the door open. Everything seems to be in order. Okay. Collect stuff, and then probably book my way back down. Okay. So how much movement did you have? A uh, total of 60. So you've got 50 feet left, so... 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. So you're back at the bottom of the stairs with 20 feet. Where do you want to go? Head towards Ruby. Don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to try to do it. Uh, <laughs> so there you are. You're right next to um, We're both like, Lionel. You can both like <laughs> oyster her at the same time and try to go. What do we do? I imagine the both of you did the Spider-Man thing. Really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, You've done a lot of that. That's just <laughs> pointing at people. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I have, I have thieves cans. Wait, wait. So not that same. Like, uh, I got that level one row. Wooks. Oh, yeah. uh, I continue we to book it out the door. As, as fast as I can. 10, 20, 30. You manage to drag her down the stairs and into the lobby area. You are again hearing, you are hearing now more commotion coming out, out, outside. The weather's nice, right? And, and you hear a sort of a, uh, a gravelly voice say, Stand aside! Coming from. In, in the front. In the ba- oh, no, no, from the, the door. Okay. From, from outside. From the, the fucking th- fire? Oh, god <laughs> damn it. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's the... Fire of my school. It's the spirit of Captain Morgan. Oh, god. No, it's coming from the street. It, you spilled just rum in the, in the pool. <laughs> it Lion. wasn't oil, it was rum. Uh, you, use the healing potion. Um, okay, you, you regain hey. 2d4 plus... I guess two. since two. I... Yes. I'm giving it. Okay, great. Seven. You, trust me, you want him to roll. Yeah, no, I was like, oh, good. Yeah. Average. Seven. Seven, you okay. said? Very good. So seven hit points. So you... And you immediately begin coughing a little bit because the, the smoke and, the, and the, the heat of the fire is... Uh, it's beginning to sort of wick its way into the hallway. Mm-hmm. And you're, you're realizing that, like, if you, if you guys stay here much longer, you're going to start suffocating. Is there, like, a towel nearby? Your shit's still upstairs. Okay, but my like, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Not in your body. No. But my stuff. Get your stuff, go out your window. We'll see you outside. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just book, dash upstairs to my room. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50, 50, 50. Yeah. So you can get to your room. So you get inside your room, right. you, un- you unlock the door, um, or at least you try to. You realize that the room, the, the door is slightly ajar. It looks like the lock has been busted. Mm. Okay, so I push it up with my foot and I sud- suddenly get way more cautious. Push it up with my foot. You see, there's nobody in here, but it looks like your room's been ransacked. What's missing? <laughs> um, well, you see, you just had your equipment and everything in there. What? Well, give me a rundown of what you had in your inventory. Did you write it down? I just had, like, basically I had a bunch of money, and I had my <laughs> armor, well, and Well, how I much money did shorts. you have? That's basically what I'm getting. Oh, I see. Um, at least 500, I think. Yeah, at least, like, 1,000. Where is we it? Had two oh, things yeah. of 500. Oh, I didn't write down the other thing of 500, right. Where the fuck is the money? <laughs> I don't know, man. That's your shoe. Show <laughs> me the money. There it is. Okay, so I had... Because we had another 500 on top of what we had written down. You took 500 from the captain. I did not. I had 1,266. I don't feel like I did a good job. 1,266. I have an explorer's pack. I have a scroll of spider coin. I have my armor. And I had my short sword, two short swords, and my longbow. You had 1,260. 1,266, yes. 1,266. Because I paid for the... 
rooms. You realize that 380 gold pieces are gone. Jeez. Somebody had used the opportunity, it looks like, to loot the place, but couldn't carry all of the gold out, and so eventually took a big handful, tossed it into a, a bag or some kind of good thing you didn't sack, have. and got the hell out. So you have 886. Is there anything else missing? Anything uh, else uh, some of use? some of your some of the the, the the room has been sort of ransacked. Furniture has been kind of turned over. There's been some tearing and the bedding and everything. But otherwise, the rest of your stuff's okay. It looks like in the panic, they saw gold, grabbed a big handful, and got the hell out. Otherwise, your stuff's still okay. Okay. Now I just need to. Are we still doing initiative orders? Yeah. yeah. We're in the bill, burning building. I'm just checking. Here you go. Talk to him. Booking it towards the front door. At, at this point, I've got okay. no way to put Five, that 10, fire 15, out. 20, 25, 30, 35, 30, right, 30. Yep. So are. are you dashing? Might as well, yeah. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So you, like, do a little, <laughs> a little, a little small leap over them, and you, so everybody's in, okay, so everybody with the exception of Lionel and <laughs> Ruby are in the lobby now. Yeah. Okay. Very quickly, you see the the sort of ornate um, curtain that is that is um, sort of uh, aligned with beads. Mm-hmm. Not a bead curtain, but mm-hmm. there are beads mm-hmm. on the curtain. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, get parted, and you see coming through the doorway to the House of Repose is this um, beefy half dragon character. Hello. I shall show you what he looks like. Not everybody wants a dog in their lap. Sorry for the robotic <laughs> delivery for some reason. <laughs> Give me just a second. Where are you? There you are. Francis is just really trying to convince Kyle to love him. It's admirable. Probably not going to take much kits. <laughs> <laughs> admirable. Uh, admirable. Uh, Oh, <laughs> you see this gentleman. Oh, let me. I can make that big zoom in. Zoom in enhance. Oh, nice. oh, it works. Vertical hole. You see nice. this gentleman. All right. Uh, part the door, and um, you very quickly realize, Wooks, that he was the source of the sort of gravelly voice you heard mm-hmm. in in the street. Um, and you see He's him his head, very quickly make his way. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, oh. that's what I thought was going to happen. Wait. That, that there we go. Crazy cat. Oh, oh man. You can probably just like, try to center these in me on a tile and be fine. That looks perfect. Fine enough. Okay. Yeah, so you see this guy push through the curtain, and he, he immediately sees the unconscious body of Emmanuel. He sees you, Wooks, and sees Tocta, and he says, You guys get the hell out of here, pronto. Big nods. And you can see that he actually, he doesn't follow you. He actually strides forward, makes his way, and begins uh, heading towards um, the interior of, like, almost as if walking towards the fire. Yep. Yep. I'm just going to shout back, oil fire. You see him sort of give you a big <laughs> thumbs up. Just He's now sort of approaching you. He's not, not with any sort of menace or anything like that. He's just sort of with purpose. Mm-hmm. You He's know, power striding. Power, power jogging <laughs> down the hallway. Okay. You see, he very quickly sort of, he sees you, um, and he waves you aside. Like, you know, get the hell out of here. Get out of my Come way. Yeah. Yeah. Get over here. Get, uh, get over here. Yeah. The uh, scorpions you. Uh, you're <laughs> dead anyway. Yeah. No. Uh, so he he pushes past you, and you see he faces the public uh, bath area, which flames are licking out of this of this room out at him, and he's just slightly squinting, but he doesn't seem to be like he seems to be weathering it pretty yeah. well. Yeah. You see him sort of he uh, takes a kind of like a horse stance almost, if you know what that's like, right? And kung fu, where you sort of square your legs yep. and kind of drop yourself slightly on your haunches, and you see he goes and he blows out 
a gust of pure, like, forceful air, essentially. It's some kind of, well, it looks like air. It doesn't seem to be, it doesn't seem to have any color or any sort of, like, you know, substance to it. Um, but you see he's just, like, rapidly breathing in. You can sort of feel, from even from where you are, sort of, the force of this action, what turbulence, and and very quickly you can see he did he does this over the course of about fifteen seconds, and by the time that he's done, you can't hear the crackling of of wood or the burning of fabric or anything. He sort of he doubles over slightly, just takes a moment to sort of take a breath, gets back up, <coughs> and um, begins to walk out. Of the House of the Price. Yeah, if, if I had already left by the time he comes out, I'd probably like hand him a water skin. He sees that, grabs it, takes a huge swig, downs it. <sighs> Sorry if it's a little hot. That's all right. Where's your friend? I assume there are more of you, right? Where's the rest of them? I think I'm in a room. So you make your way down. Um, you realize that as you... I mean, I was about to read this roll of spider climb, and then I'm like, wait, <laughs> hold on. Yeah, you realize that, you hear them. that like, you don't hear flame anymore. You don't hear panic. You don't... So, so do you I'll do? kind of poke my head downstairs. No fire. Is everything all right? Well, there might be structural integrity well, loss. Well, not any response in the hallway. So... Well, I mean, I head down the stairs, I guess. Sorry. Are yeah, we so out of initiative well, order so you, Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're so in the hallway. Go down the stairs to the main area where my friends were. So you okay? make your way outside. And around you, in, in the streets, there are all of these people who sort of like are kind of gawking, sort of like, not quite ambulance chasing, but they're sort of like, you know, they're gawking at the, the situation. They're asking everybody what happened, you know. Mm-hmm. They're all chattering and chittering. And then you see that all of your party members are still here. Emmanuel seems like she, she's still... Unconscious. Um, uh, uh, unconscious, but standing. I'm out of, I'm out of spell slots, right, Helio. But standing next to them is a golden half dragon in robes, uh, who has just finished taking a big swig off of a water skin. Uh, Come and refill that. Are there any more in the building? Not that I'm aware of, but I didn't do a thorough check. You want me to? Well, I'll have our people take a look at it in a minute. Hey, um, thank you. I am assuming we're you were the one to thank for the fire being put out. He gives you like a hearty like. Doesn't even doesn't even do this. He just yeah, grabs he just the forearm. Yeah. He grabs the forearm and gives you a hearty shake, and he says, "Now I want to thank you." What? Why? I understand that it was uh, you folks, if my uh, intelligence is right, that uh, Will that had a part in uh, taking down old Captain Lascalar. Is that right? Who's Captain Lascalar? Oh, on, on the ship. Yeah, he might be going by, uh, well, he was going by Captain Flashheart now. Oh, you, yes. yes. I, I understand you folks had a run-in with him, you yes. and... Uh, I believe that was the guardian uh, of the sea who took care of him. Well, well, well. If you hadn't been distracting him at the time, maybe our friend... Uh, he could have been a little bit more prudent. But. Uh, maybe our friend might not have been able to chomp down so thoroughly. The point is, that's one less pirate in the area harassing our ships. Well, and uh, for that, I just want to extend some thanks. So uh, we'll consider it even, huh? Um, there is also, I don't know if you're aware of this, but things are being stolen out of the House of Repose. Yeah, we've been hearing that for a few weeks now. Well, I just, I can verify, like, 300 of my gold coins are gone when I went up there to get it. Well. <sighs> and the, there is the There's some trash. There is the ooze that came out of one of the basins told us to return what was taken and tried to attack us. That's what prompted the fire in the first place, actually. You see him, he actually, he takes off, like, a, a, a portion, like, a sort of a slight head wrap that he has on, and just chucks it to the ground and, and into into the dust. God damn it! I mean, it's gone. We, 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 we did kill it, yes? I'm pretty sure it vaporized. Okay. It's probably taken care of, given that the whole place is on fire. Yeah. About a minute ago. <laughs> I just kind of look again. Away. We'll have our people check, make sure that it's gone. God, I told them not to use that. I told them that we could approach one of the princes and that they would create a a kind of a a watch, if you will, to take care of this. But no, no. Apparently, Kaya and her higher ups decided to go ahead and uh, pull the you know the the gods option. You know. 
So that was supposed to be protecting the House of Repose? My understanding, if what you're telling me is true, Kaya probably lobbied one of the merchant princes, I'm not sure who, asked for some kind of protection against thieves, something to sort of, let's say, aggressively prosecute them. And um, things have gone a little bit wrong. Yeah, I mean, it. Hopefully, uh, their insurance covers this then. <laughs> that's funny. That's that's real funny. Uh, yeah, the uh, uh, this is probably not getting repaired anytime soon, <laughs> unless uh, Kai is going to do an excellent job sucking up to one of the princes. Sure. So, oh, uh, thank you. My apologies. I I I introduced myself. Name's Zindar. I'm the harbor master. Hi, nice to meet you, Lionel. Doctor Lionel TV. Oh, is your, uh, your friend all right there? Uh, yeah, she just needs to rest, I think. We were both injured trying to fight the ooze. He reaches into his robe and takes a small vial out. Here, give her this. Well, I tend to do it. You regain 1d4 plus 2 hit points. Ooh, mini. Oh, who's eating it? Uh, I have a mini missing. Oh, oh Francis. To causing trouble. <laughs> Take the shot. So I kind of wake up and I like. So if you, you listen to Mill, and I kind of look around. <laughs> okay. All right, there, lady. <laughs> I'll offer an arm. Yeah. Oh, I was having a come. No, never mind. What? Would you like to continue it? <sighs> no, probably not. <laughs> You can see you you see him put two fingers up and he whistles and you can see that some some people who are it looked as if they're dressed as civilians but they very quickly sort of come up and they stand at attention and he orders them inside to sort of sweep the place and make sure that there are you know aren't any people still trapped in there and we'll just to give a general sweep to, to get to, to get some intelligence of the area. What happened? Uh, the monster vaporized and I like unshoulder your bag. Here's your bag. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why does it weigh him on back? Uh, the, it was because on fire I when I woke up. It. The, what was on fire? Yeah, the, the building. The whole the, building the whole building was on fire. How, oh, how did the building get No, no mind that. <laughs> just, just, yeah, it just happened. And I'll just... just spontaneous <laughs> building combustion. <laughs> yeah, people talk about it. Lean over it it just kept on like, knocking into Someone things. was smoking. There's a reason there's no smoking signs. We'll discuss amongst us later. There's no smoking? I don't know. It's probably better, I don't know. <laughs> Listen, uh, folks, um, if you guys are, uh, you know, in decent shape, then um, I'll need to attend to the, um, the Clean up. fallout, if you will, sure. of this incident. Sure, absolutely. Um, it seems like, as of late, sort of our administrative people, at least the people in, at the Merchant Princes have put in charge of just sort of day-to-day city life, have been uh, more interested in uh, uh, more, more interested in uh, drinking ale and and whatever the the native drink is the name of it I forget. Oh, crap. Forget that. Tej. 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 More interested in drinking Tej than um, actually doing any damn thing in this in this place. So um, I'm going to pick up the slack. Um, oh, we will not bother you further. Thank yeah. you so very much. Uh, may I go in and get the rest of my things? Uh, yeah, if you're careful. Sure. Uh, the structural damage, just be careful, may have weakened sort of the rail upper supports stairs. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you ever need anything, um, uh, you know, based on how you handled the whole pirate situation, or assisted, let's say, uh, I'll be glad to help you. Just, uh, inquire, you know, about Zindar down at the harbor, at the docks, and, uh, and I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Yeah. So I go in and get my weapons and armor. But he already had them. No, he got the sack. There's oh. no way he's carrying that and the weapons and, and the armor. armor. It's it's heavy. Yeah. To it's, put it so. I can't. I mean, I have a strength of two, which is higher than most other people in our party. That's true. <laughs> or equal to. I mean, I think I might be the strongest. No, I'm the strongest. But never mind. Yeah. You are. Yeah. And I'm behind the desk just ransacking the cash register. 
I'll come inside because I kind of want to check out who might have been stealing the stuff. And as I see you behind the cash register, I'll just thwap you in the back of the head. Is it cash register? Fuck off. Something. Okay. Whatever okay. they're using. What keep is a in. cash register? <laughs> so once I get down and I check my stuff, is there anything missing? How much gold did you have? Three hundred and sixty-one. Three hundred and sixty-one. Huh? Okay. So you had 361. You realize that your purse is just a little lighter. You now have 252 gold. Seems some of my gold is gone. It's the tax of the city. (laughs) Okay, I'm sarcastic. Just the one. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally, they climb in your window. That would, God, that would be a true hellscape. Hello, I am the tax man. <laughs> I take I, your money. I broke into your room to take your tax. I think it'd be pretty impossible for me to try to figure out who's been taking stuff in an empty area that's fire damage done. So. You are now sort of the the crowd has begun to disperse, realizing that the building's not going to burn down anytime soon. The excitement, yeah. down. and so you are left you are left in the street trying to sort of you know to yourselves and make sure that everything's. I stick okay. my hand in my pocket and I pull out the key to my room. Oh. <laughs> is it still evening? What's that? It was is afternoon. It's... Well, it is. It is um, the After sun. We've had a bath and everything. The sun has set now. It is now like um, now we're all dusk. Think about. Oh, yeah. It is now. <laughs> it is now like seven o'clock. So. Right. So it's it's dark. It's that, that sort of like bluish that night. You know. Yeah. <laughs> well, it looks like we may have, have to, to find somewhere off. else to yeah. stay. Sorry. Oh, he's trying. Um, I will just lead us to the. Other end that I know of, the rounding one. Yeah. Tavern, um, unless if the harbor man wants to put us up. Yeah, and like a, f- a barrel of fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can fuck right off. Come here. You are not staying out here. So, Lionel, as as the lot of you are discussing what to do next, like what, what your next sort of lodging is going to be. Stop trying to bite me. You see a um, you see an older gentleman with a um, kind of a, a kind of a, a Captain Picard esque sort of mostly bald but some hair sort of around the back, graying black with a sort of a pointed beard. He's wearing a, a green tunic and carrying a, a gnarled kind of staff. Um, you see him. Um, uh, Attempting somewhat poorly to sort of scope out the situation that's happened at the House of Repose. You recognize it because out of the corner of your eye it looks suspicious. Also, you um, make note of it because just behind this character is... Where the hell is the, the cursor? Just behind this character is a what looks like a... Plant like a plant yes. like <laughs> creature. This plant like creature hmm. who is like next to him and sort of peering over it <laughs> over his shoulder also at the house of repose. Hmm. Do they have anything on them to the The Harpers? Mm-hmm. No, no sort of insignia yeah. well no Harper stuff that you can see. No. Yeah. Not that the Harpers tend to fly a lot of colors. I know, but I mean... Symbols of gambling, but... Because we know what they look like. Flash the badge. We didn't know if we could notice it. Otherwise, the street is normal fare. People are moving through. You see the occasional sort of dinosaur burden moving a, a late shipment out, but otherwise, things are beginning to turn into sort of the nighttime business. Were your belongings in the gentle repose? Oh, you're going... Are you approaching him? Yeah. You see him very quickly, sort of... He backs up, clutches his staff, and you can see, in turn, the 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 plant-like creature ducks behind him, hiding himself in the sort of folds of of the, uh, the old man's robes. Um, you see, he sort of... At first, he kind of stammers a little bit, unsure of, of what to say, and uh, he says, uh, No, no. I, uh, 
uh, I was concerned. I saw the building and I wanted to make sure that everyone had gotten out okay. It seems like everyone's fine. He sort of vigorously nods. A little more than you would think a normal person would nod at that. Uh, yes, yes. Very good, very good. Um. Well, I, uh, uh, I see that uh, uh, everyone is okay. I will, uh, I will go back to my home. Uh, Hold on. Ah. <laughs> it seems that you approach. Out of found. Ah, yes. Hello. Good evening. Did you frequent the repose on a regular basis? Ah, no, no, I have, I have never been. Uh, it is uh, pr- too, uh, too pricey for my, uh, my particular uh, uh, money situation. Mm. Well, then I guess you. And I'm looking to see if he's like just bullshitting us. So I guess you wouldn't know about all the things that went missing from the patrons who stayed there. Sounds like you're trying to make an insight check. Yep. <laughs> see how it goes. Get in there. Uh, 18. Wait. 21? Yeah, 18. 18. He's nervous. He's sweaty. He's evading your questions. He knows something. He has some kind of connection with the House of Repose. So he's clearly lying about that. What else he's lying about, you don't know. But he's very clearly not being uh, straightforward. He's not being forthcoming. Look, sir, I've been attacked by an ooze today. It was supposed uh, to be pr- I'm, I'm sorry protection to for the customers. Ah, ah, ah. The building I was staying in has been set on fire. I've been knocked unconscious well, uh, it's not fire and <laughs> almost died twice today. I'm so if to you that. could stop with the bullshit and just tell me what you know, that'd be very helpful. He sort of takes a moment. And I'm also missing over 300 gold pieces. <laughs> takes a heavy breath. You see him say in Cholton, Come out, little one. Come, come. And he's sort of like... And I'll reply and go, Yes, please do. <laughs> he sort of like bats a little bit, like lightly at his robes. And you see that this plant-like creature, um, you see sort of like waddles out and then just sort of like stands there, sort of relaxed, you know, at at his master's side. It's, it's uncertain at, at, at the moment. The old man... Um, it's Pinocchio. Uh, listen, I, I will be... I will be honest with you. I... Um, I came here because I was worried about uh, the work that I had done and it seems that my fears had been confirmed. I wish I had been here sooner in order to take care of things, but uh, I'm sorry that I have put any of you in any kind of danger or led to your things being taken. I had no no intent of this. You made the ooze. Sort of. I... He sort of takes his staff and gives a kind of a uh, a sort of a short nod and kind of to acknowledge. I am Kawasha. Q A W A S H A. I am Kawasha. I am, uh, well, there are some who call me a mystic. I uh, specialize in uh, some uh, magical application of uh, things, much like uh, people in need. They come to me, they say, hey, I need uh, protection against this curse, or I need uh, uh, some kind of uh, something to watch over me or my goods. I was asked to create this uh, this thief hunter and put it in its place inside the house of repose. I admit, I am asked I am asked quite a lot. My workload is very big. And so perhaps I rush this one. It seemed a little corrupted. Yes, I. there must have been some impurities in the creation process. If I had not been pressured by... Who are you working for? <laughs> the gentle repose. 
I suppose there is no reason to continue to lie to you. I understand that the owner of this place, Kaya, yes. she came to Jessamine and asked for some kind of protection, some kind of guarantee that the thieves would not continue to frequent a place of such uh, 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 high renown and reputation. It harms the business, you see. And so I did the best I could as quickly as possible to create this thief hunter. I make mistake. Do you only work for Jessamine? I think a thief's going to be coming I, back I in I work for soon. many people. Mostly my work I mean, is... just did. I take small contributions well, from the no citizens uh, to help them. But Jessamine was offering quite a lot of money and a very quick sum for something relatively simple in magical terms. And uh, well, uh, I needed, I needed the money. Well, I, I don't. It wasn't a total thing. It didn't seem overly hostile until we attacked it. It just kept saying, "Return what was." Yeah. But that is part of its behavior. It will uh, try to. Uh, yes, how do you say? Uh, intimidate the Does thief into only... giving back what it has taken. Is it only summoned by people who have stolen things? Couldn't really. From, from my. <laughs> and I just like kind of reach I out and grab your. Sh- I just kind of reach your grab your shoulder and pull you up next to me. From my understanding of the uh, the recipe, if you will, mm-hmm. uh, it it is aware. It becomes aware very quickly of moments of theft. If that is not the case, then it seeks out. Those it knows have some kind of reputation for it. If yes, 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 some kind of urge or will to to take unlawfully (laughs) those things, it will naturally be gravitated to those people. And you just feel the hand on your shoulder slowly tightening, Luke's. Well, I am. I'm not sure I am sorry, but I am a little sorry that you we killed your creation. No, no, it is, it is, uh, it is not um, intelligent. Ah, uh, what is word? Uh, no, 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 no. Alive. Uh, a sapient. You okay. see, yeah. it does. It has some awareness, but it is not. It does not think like you or I. So it's not self-aware. It, more like, uh, more like an animal. Yeah. Still, a pity it had to be destroyed in this way, and oh, such damage to the building. When did you ins- install this? When did you place this? It was this morning. Six days ago. <laughs> okay, I mean, because the thefts were still happening. It's really right before the <laughs> madness. <laughs> yes. Five minutes. I was just down the street. I do not. Uh, I do not claim for this. <laughs> this elemental. To be, to be okay, okay, uh, okay, okay. Perfect. Sure, I yes. to be clearly on, like scratched. Sure. Either mm-hmm. these thefts were happening with such rapidity and so quickly that the that the creature was unable to respond quickly enough, or what? I do not know. I can only I can only guess. I don't want to take up too much more of your time. I appreciate your. Um, telling us. Again, you, you have my sincerest apologies. I never meant for any of this to happen. I'm not going to say this name right. Do you know anything about the Soulmonger as a mystic you a and a spellcaster? Why do you want to know of such things? Well, I think it's probably better if you don't know. So well, he was actually sent here to. Uh, I think it's better that you don't know. <laughs> yes, I know he's in that. Because it's a Denny Lich and we don't want to make anything come after this poor man. Yes, it is a Denny Lich, but we were sent here to help deal with it. He sort of, sort of nods solemnly. Let's see. I do not know much, but I have heard of this soul monger. 
this powerful evil artifact. I am not knowledgeable in such things. I have merely heard tales in the script on the wind. But I do know who would tell you all that you need to know. And who is that? There is uh, a temple. There's a temple here. And this temple, this uh, temple of Savras, here in the city, the head of this temple is a man named Zitembe. Z I T E M B E. This man, Zitembe. Zitembe is wise, older than I. Still spry, intelligent, knowledgeable. If there is anyone who knows anything about this soul monger and the legends surrounding it, it would be him. Thank you. And I'll pass him, like, each of them a gold coin, a little plant creature, too. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Will, Will does not need this. Oh. <laughs> no, thank you. I only hope that it will make up for the wrong. And in Cholton, I will tell him, please forget that you ever spoke to us about this one longer. He sort of, it is, yes. I will, uh, no good will come of spreading this name. And he says, he sort of gives you a sort of a, a polite sort of gesture with the, with the staff. Now if, if you will excuse me, I will uh, be on my way home. I am certain that uh, you see him swallow hard and sort of look off into the, <laughs> off into the distance. That uh, that my employer will be uh, unhappy. I must attend to her uh, help us. Good night. Mm-hmm. And you see him sort of. We had recognized his employer's name. This one of the darkly walk off. Mm. Merchant princess. Yeah, what Jessamine. now? Jessamine. Yeah. Jessamine is one of the merchant princes. She's the one who specializes in poisons legal and herbs yep. and <laughs> yes, <laughs> and, leg- and legalized mm-hmm. murder. Yes, that's nice. Which is funny that Kaya was able to get to her and get permission to talk to her because she's been seen less and less and less lately. True. Well, in public, sir. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't mean people can't see her. She just doesn't. They might her. be able to get into like if they have an appointment at her via or something like that or, or whatever. Sure. But or there, is, there is some slight peculiarity with that, sure. Yeah. Or at least someone really... Maybe an agent related, that yeah. she has or some kind of contact? Maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or chief of staff. Well, after the evening we've had, I, I suggest we go get a drink. <laughs> I will lead them to the, Maybe what was some it, like the red dragon or something. The, other... the thundering mm-hmm. lizard. The thundering yeah. lizard. Yeah. Boy, I wasn't... <laughs> You're gym. still you're gym. still a little woozy <laughs> from being knocked unconscious. <laughs> Way up twice. Yeah, twice. <laughs> Concussions are really yes. bad. Yes. <laughs> okay. Twice. So you head into the thundering what lizard. So far. Yep. Every time. <laughs> the building is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're used to in this. a very controlled <laughs> fashion. There was a fireplace. Stop. Stop. Now slime monsters here. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> So it's a patron. <laughs> as we walk, though, I haven't let go of Wooks. <laughs> I'm trying to like, reach <laughs> people in the <laughs> in the street, trying no. to reach their pockets and just. No, God, you you see one of those like backpacks <laughs> with the leashes on it. <laughs> I mean, I just really I bad at thieving, anyways. <laughs> Is the but you one. try, God damn it. Sure. Yeah. Sleight of hand is the Bird thing I'm most remember. proficient in. Still can't fucking get anything. It's, it's, it's those urges, though. <laughs> Just got the klepto tag. So you make your way into the ramshackle um, building that is the Thundering Lizard. Inside, you can hear that the place is full, that music is going, that people are chatting and drinking and laughing. Um... Uh, the place is alive, even at this hour, even this early in the evening. Um, and uh, you can uh, you can hear over crackling fire um, the sound of people 
chanting and singing and drinking and it is truly the 180 degree tonal opposite of the House of Repose. <laughs> so you will be safer just, here. Just big sigh. <laughs> big little sigh. Well, big move. You know. <laughs> I move to the, the corner table and just pull out my marked cards and just <laughs> just kind of shuffling in them and looking around the room at some easy marks to hit. So I am from Chult. What do people in Chult do to people who pickpocket in the market? Oh. Send them to the rat. Well, <laughs> there's not a... like do It's difficult because they're a legal off. system. There's <laughs> not really a police force, mm. per se. People are afraid Trump enough Trump. of... The merchant prince is possibly sending them to the executioner's run or something yeah. to like to really do much in terms of crime. And so it's like a it's almost like a power play panopticon kind of thing where like you're never, you're never quite sure who's watching you. And so it tries to keep the peace in that way. Okay. Hello. Comrade. Mostly, <laughs> mostly people He's just sort of right. like it's a kind of a frontier justice is mm-hmm. not the word, but. Basically, people attend to justice and revenge and stuff like that themselves, and they're just sort of asked to, like, you know, figure it out yourselves. Don't make us get into it, because we'll probably send everybody to the execution. Yeah, because you know? it's easy. So, if somebody catches somebody pickpocketing, depending on if the person who's been pickpocketed has had a good day, mm-hmm. <laughs> it could be a slap on the wrist, or it could be that that wrist is removed entirely. Yeah. Right? So, who knows? That's just okay. I just needed to know. Where it's to on tell a case by case basis. Our, uh, uh, quick fingered fr- justice to friends. justice. <laughs> so, so you can go all out because there's no upper or lower limits, right? Because <laughs> I fucking grew up here, and if just, he steals from the wrong person, I'm not going to go rescue his ass from the merchant. For everything is execution. I mean, if okay. you're having a bad. So I will order some tesh, okay, and I will. I, I will approach Wooks's corner table and say, "Listen." That thing came after you because you steal. We don't. We don't know that. <laughs> that's a, that's a big he, assumption. He he could have been coming after the desk clerk, Kip. What was his name? <laughs> Kip. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and assume you've never been to Chort before, um, but I kind of grew up here. Where and if you from? steal from the wrong person here, they're gonna kill you. And I'm not gonna go storming a merchant prince's house to save your stupid ass. To be fair, that's pretty much the risk everywhere. <laughs> no, it's definitely higher here, because there are seven merchant princes, and you never know who's working for who, so you probably ought to keep your fingers to yourself. Dog attack. Also, be careful who you trick cards. with those cards, because again, what do you mean? if they work just, for the same... They're just cards! <laughs> <laughs> just regular... God, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I business. saved I saved everyone's <laughs> life. Maybe it'd be cool if you like bought me a drink or something. Didn't you? I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and guess that you're the one who set it on fire. <clears throat> okay, so, so wait on that drink. So <laughs> let's so let's see. You set it on fire. We found you on an abandoned ship. You steal from things. Hopefully, you're not dumb enough to have stolen from me. And you're trying to pit pocket when there are like seven merchant princes in power, really all vying for Let's power. Let's get run on our screen. You hear <laughs> from from the from the sort of western end of the building. You hear a very loud throat clearing, and the the noise level just goes slightly <laughs> down. You see that a, a human man with sort of a full head of hair and a, a thick beard, um, clearly for like. Clearly coming from Faerun, as you mm-hmm. would have gathered, um, with his, you know, sort of light skin and his dress and everything like that being very Faerunian, right? Very non-traditionally Chalton. Um, gets up on, on on a table, and you hear him say, Hear ye, hear ye, I have for you today... And he's very much trying to cut through the din, um, cut through the din of the, thun- the, the thundering lizard. Um... I have for you today the most important text that you will ever read. I'm turning. <laughs> I'm sold. <laughs> Pulling the hat down, becoming invisible. For a, a, a mere 50 gold pieces, you will have this incredible work uh, at a fraction of the cost 
uh, to your life and to your survival. You'll need it in venturing out into the wilds of Cholt. So, otherwise, no. Ch- they actually, it gets louder in here, and you realize that he is. That's Kenneth Brenner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Okay, sorry. <laughs> you see him just sort of like, sort of lowers his arms slightly. Oh, it looks like uh, I. I walk up to him. Oh, you walk Who is this? Who I looks like, think I'm going to steal this. It looks okay. like nobody <laughs> is interested in... Co- oh, hello. 40. Hello. Ha, ha. <laughs> you want 40 copies. Excellent. That'll be... Let's see. It's, oh, what? 200? <laughs> 200? I'm very 200 good at math. Pieces? Who is this person? 2,000. You don't recognize him and he hasn't just, given his name yet. He has text messages. It looks like that. I know who this man is. Yes. I mean, I have, <laughs> yes. I have, I have a He's directed the world. I have a suspicion. Yep. <laughs> yep. So, so he um, he sees you approach, and he see, here's that 40, and he, he gets ready. He's, like, counting it up, like, all right, 40 copies, that'll be 200 gold pieces. Are you sure you want 40? I mean, don't, don't, I, I'm not trying to dissuade you. Man, well, I'm just terrible. saying that yeah. 40 copies of the book is quite a lot to carry around. You quite a lot to carry around. It's a good deal. Have discount. you made 40 copies? Yeah, That'd be that a long time to make. Oh, yes, we have, we have quite a few copies. Yes, absolutely. Does that only want one at 40 gold? Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Mm, 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 Negotiable? Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what. I will give you, and you see that he actually, he goes to a side table and sort of gestures for you to come by. He retrieves from a sack a durable hardcover book with some sort of gold leafing around it, that on, on which says very clearly in script, Volo's Guide to Monsters. Ah, oh, yes. And you see he picks it up and then, I will give you this special limited edition hardcover copy for 40 gold pieces on the condition that you do a little bit of advertisement. Understand. You tell everyone where you got this and how helpful this text is. If it is truly helpful, I work at yes, the sir, University of Higher Aims or Elevated uh, Elevated Aims. Aims. What the hell is that? It's the university over at Boulder's Gate. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the, 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 the Citadel of Elevated Aims. Of course I know what that is. <laughs> if it yes, is I've truly been there many good, times. I may put in a word to... Grab quite a few copies. Well, maybe... that would be excellent. You talk to the administrator there, they can put it on the reading list for all of the classes. Excellent. And that will, of course, require a consignment shipping, and we'll talk about licensing and royalties and so on. Excellent. Fantastic. So, your 40 gold pieces, sir. And then I'll look Stand at my down. gold pouch. Let's see how many <laughs> are in there. At 960 before. You still have 960. You were not. <laughs> <hurt>. <laughs> Snap 920. Thank you, sir. Let's go, please. Stop it. And here you are. Here is your copy of Volo's Guide to Monsters. You are very well. Would you like me to sign that copy? I guess if this one gets put in the display case, it might be better to have Well, if I sign it, it will become more valuable. (laughs) I'll I'll hand my pen. Oh, uh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Dips it in the inkwell and writes. On the on the, the title page, essentially, Volothamp Gedarm, and then, with a flourish, and then hands your pen back. I would. Uh, well, you're gonna let that one air yes. dry. <laughs> Don't close so, it. what brings Maybe you to Chultz? What brings me, Volo Gedarm, to Chultz? <laughs> well, of course, as you can see, I've just completed one of my masterworks, Volo's Guide to Monsters, and it's very important that even in these remote reaches, that people have the benefit of a scholarly work like this. I mean, what better place to use a guide to monsters than a, than a, an uncharted countryside full of <laughs> monsters? <laughs> it seems like the only logical place to get the most sales, uh, most readers. Very true. <laughs> so. Well, I'm here to hopefully make it charted. Oh, uh, uh, that is... That is... Indeed, a complicated task, a, a, a quite an ask of someone, but I'm, I'm sure you'll be quite successful, and I, I wish you all the best. In fact, if you are able to chart this, uh, this untamed countryside of the Chultan Peninsula, even a little bit, if you mention to people that, well, uh, my Volo's Guide Monster certainly helped me out in the chartering process, well, uh, that puts both of us in higher estimation, doesn't it? Excellent. 
Oh, uh, are you are you here with any uh, family members or friends or Deceived people otherwise with gold pieces who perhaps need a copy of Volo's Guide to Monsters? You know, if just in case you happen to lose your copy, there might be a, a utility in having multiple copies, of course. I always suggest that. If it comes to that point. I, I don't think they're terribly interested in it. Ah, well, you should probably ask them first. <laughs> you know, you don't want to assume that they don't want a copy of Volo's Guide to Monsters. I could let them borrow my copy. Ah, well, you, know, you, probably, <laughs> you probably want one for yourself, you know, because they'll borrow it and then they'll lose it. It'll fall into some kind stained. of mud pit or be eaten by some kind of boa constrictor or something. Oh, and, the, and then where are you? You won't have a bolus. <laughs> for boa constrictor. Uh, no, what? Uh, nothing so common as a boa constrictor would be in Volvo's Guide to Monsters. I mean, you can get that from, from Gerald's Guide to Snakes. <laughs> Why would you need that? Guide to Snakes. My favorite book is when I was growing up as a kid. Gerald's Guide to Snakes. Oh, it's, it's out of print, I'm afraid. <laughs> it's too bad. It is. It is really too bad. Yes, it's a, the most. It's, it's really a basic work that everyone has on their shelf. Uh, yeah. So, can I meet your friends? Bring him over. <laughs> 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 I'm, at the I'm, just, I'm just. I probably like one move, but I can't like see. Oh, I know this guy's everybody's like. It's very too crowded tall. Yes, for absolutely. A Netflix. Yep, and Takte is probably over getting a room right now. <laughs> it's hard, kind of hard to spot them from down here. I am. Maybe you can find them. I'm my also at your level, so even harder to see. <laughs> if you see like a big hat. Oh, you got the hat. That does help. Oh, I see a little bit. There's a little tiny fabric poking out there. Yes? Unfortunately, this is probably around the time I finish my Tej and have to go up to the bar to get another one. Okay. Which is probably... Oh, and then there's so you, Ruby. You head up to the bar, so the two of you see, and then parting the ways you see, you just trying to get up to the counter to, to, to get a room. Excellent. Let, let's... Let, why, let's, let's introduce ourselves, shall we? They'd probably love it if you introduced yourself with a handful of... Not a book, but something else. <laughs> uh, I do have quite a lot of books, you understand. Book. More. And you, you see, very quickly, he reaches the two of you. He puts puts an arm on your back in a friendly way. And said, puts that, and then tries to put his arm on Takta and realizes he's just getting, like, hat. wizard hat yes. fabric. <laughs> and, uh, uh, <laughs> Hello, friends. Uh, uh, I understand that you are compatriots of uh, of my noble friend here, um, Lionel Tea Leaf. Lionel Tea Leaf Dr. is his Tea name, <laughs> and uh, he. Uh, uh, where, where are my maps? Uh, I am Volothap Gennar, uh, who you still like. may have heard of. Uh, <laughs> I am an author of some of repute. Have I heard of? Well, why don't you give me a, a, a chapter <laughs> check? <laughs> Now's the time for a natural one. <laughs> I have a feeling no matter what you roll, no one's heard of him. <laughs> Oddly enough, you have heard oh, of all of them. Get arm. He's, he's published a couple right. of books that have been, you know, received. Oh, that's <laughs> that's full. Have been I'm going popular make, and helpful. I'm going him. to make the terrible mistake of turning to him and going, "Yes, actually, I have heard of you," and then go. Who's well, 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 that's Who's not surprising. Uh, if, if you have traveled in any respect in the Faerunian regions, then you would no, know that from, my books are well received and I, very valuable to I'm the average traveler from, there. Oh, oh, hold I'm on, just I'm not from finished. Here. I'm from here <laughs> Oh. That's why oh. I've heard of you. Oh, I see. Oh. Why? <laughs> why are you from Chol? <laughs> why am I from Chol? Because I was born here. <laughs> no, no. That's, that's, that's not quite what I meant. No, um, what are you What are you doing back here? Presumably, you couldn't have. I mean, I've only just arrived in Shelton, unless my name has traveled across the seas to the it peninsula. Hasn't. Well, okay, then. Then you were once in Faerun and now are in Shelt again. Is that what I'm understanding? Yes. Why? To wit, why? <laughs> well, I'm sure Lionel told you of his. Oh to yes, chart. the the cartography thing, the charting of the untamed wilderness. Yes, so I heard. So I heard. So we're going to be adventuring. Hmm. And hopefully coming back. I see. <laughs> I'm, I'm positioning myself behind this man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, just un- unbeknownst, unbeknownst to him. Give me a self check. Uh, I, I fucking see you. To, just... He doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> uh, uh, 14. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but uh, is this... Is I get this... that with the passive. And he sort of gestures in your vague direction. doesn't touch you, but he gestures mm-hmm. in your vague direction. This... Is this just a sentient hat, or, or what? <laughs> what is this? That's Octa. He's a kobold. There's this moment where it's like... 
he's thinking like, all right, the door's over there. I could just bolt. <laughs> you just <laughs> never know. <laughs> you just think it was a, a road. Oh no! If I have to have this conversation, everyone else is coming with me. <laughs> it's a talk day. He's a cool. He sort of takes a takes a squat. Oh, I did not see because just, of the just shrinking. The hat is very different. Oh, no, you're a, a, you're a cobalt man. I put my there empty cup on the counter behind me and just gesture for another one. This is Volo. He writes books. That's uh, well, Volo. Them get our metro service. Uh, so, uh, what can I... Can you maybe adjust the hat slightly? I can't really make out your face very well. Adjust it down. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, he's a bit shy. I can understand. Kobolds are naturally uh, uh, afeard. <laughs> I, I look into his bag to kind of see if there's any other books besides the one that he's he's gotten. You can see that what it's filled want? to the brim with copies of Volo's Guide to Monsters. Just the monster That's book. literally no that's other, in. No other yeah. He's okay. fucking poor. Oh! <laughs> oh, hello! I see you're admiring uh, 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 my selection here. My I suggest Volo's Guide to Monsters. I understand the author is an erudite and reputable man of, uh, of some literary repute. I just make a noise that makes it seem like I'm a mute. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm just, oh, I'm I sorry. I just wander away quickly. <laughs> oh, my apologies. Is that is that one of your friends? He seems yeah, to he's be, kind uh, of an asshole. Oh. Well, I, 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 I quite felt strongly for him. I'm, I'm sorry that he... That's because he's lying like he to you. He's fine. <laughs> well, I'm sure he didn't mean... <laughs> I'm sure this was a misunderstanding. I'm sure he's mean to to, 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 to right. falsely claim anything. You're he was really probably nice. just overwhelmed by having met Volo Van Gedarm. It's understandable that you would seize up and not be able to say anything. Yeah, you know, I'm feeling a little bit swoony myself. Oh, well, that, why don't you have a drink there? That would pass. Oh, no, I will. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> so, um... Start just fucking down. My friend... Bench. My friend... Lionel. Lemon, Lionel. <laughs> Lionel. Lionel. The liminal uh, has just bought a copy of Volo's Guide to Monsters, and he can vouch for its incredible usefulness. Isn't that right? It did not have a boa constrictor. No. It did not have a boa constrictor, but everyone knows what a boa constrictor is and what it looks like and what its basic properties are. I However, seen that in Gerald's Guide to Snakes. <laughs> see? see, there it is. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see you found your voice. Excellent. <laughs> Just, yes, up. that's a basic thing you can look up in Gerald's <laughs> Guide to Snakes. Volo's Guide to Monsters can give you all kinds of strange, arcane, and fascinating creatures that you will need to study up on if you are looking to plumb the depths of choke. I've just chugged a second thing of Tej, so I'm slightly drunk. So I'll just look at Volo, squinty-eyed for a second, and just start listing off Cholton creatures, Adam. Yes? Mm-hmm. Yes? Just check we his that. understanding. Yes, indeed. I'm going to try a one us. better. <laughs> Where it's the gonna try an arcana check to come up with something that seems reasonable, but to my knowledge does not exist. Okay, please do. Bam! Boulder! <laughs> 14. 20. Not natural. Yeah, Beholders Behold don't exist. <laughs> yes. Wait. Oh. <laughs> You've never seen one because nobody's seen Sir. them in lived. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens. Have you had Xanathar's Guide to Everything? I, yeah, I'm trying to think. What, what would I come up with? Would you roll? Like 20. Probably like a weird elemental. Do something like a dark elemental or something that seems reasonable, but. But it's not has, like one of the standard planes. Yeah, or a, it just hasn't a pl- ever. Plasma been seen. elemental. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. Something like that. So he. he a so solid he, elemental. He, he, he crosses his arms and it's looks at you for a moment. This is I, I see what's going on here. This is sort of a this is sort of a game we're playing with old Volo here. I understand your 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 suspicious your uh, my, my my expertise may seem unfounded to you, but I assure you, if you look in Volo's Guide to Monsters, you will see that I have done copious amounts of research and first hand observation How of much? these arcane creatures, and I can assure you that in all of my wide, wide works and researches I have never heard of anything or a plasma elemental, or whatever the hell you, you just <laughs> tried to proffer on me. And I I don't... Listen, I don't hold it against you. Everybody wants to do a little joke every now and then. Let's do all the old test old get arm. <laughs> Let's give him a quiz to see what he can discern, but uh, he can't pull one over on me that easily, I'm afraid. So, how much money do you actually need? <laughs> I'm sorry? You're trying to sell these books because you're poor. No, I am not, and not at all. I, I am very comfortable in terms of the money. I just want to get my book out. Expensive. My book must be in more hands to give more people 
a sense of safety and security and and firm and so people knowledge. know your name. <laughs> well, if that is a byproduct of reading Volo's Guide to Monsters, then I'll go all for it. Yeah, I mean, well, most know, authors don't put their name at the front of the book. <laughs> well, people need to know where it's coming name. from. They need to know that Volo is a name that you can trust. <laughs> well, where could we send people to uh, purchase your book um, when we meet them out in the street? I'm sorry? Do you have a stall? Do you have a, a stall or a I don't have shop. a permanent presence or a in the house in Yanzaru per se to... because there's quite a lot of okay. activity going on. It's easy to get lost in the shuffle. What I normally do is go to these, you know, places of of public activity, if you will, uh, to the bazaar, to the Red Square, wherever we need to go. For that. And then we um, <laughs> and then I just sort of proffer my wares. You understand? Know so you don't have any place to stay. Oh no, I'm uh, no, I have a room here at the. I hope the it's not the quiet repose. Oh, wh- why? Was you, have you heard bad things about the house of repose? No, it just you know caught on fire today. It's fine. It's been put out. <laughs> no one knows how it started. I'm just, just drunk I enough just that grab, I, look at, I grab a drink. Just, just drunk just... enough. I put my drink down. Look at Wilkes and go <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> just <laughs> bad, bad. Fire safety standards. There was an no fire hydrants anywhere. There's an yeah. elemental ooze fire that ones. was created to protect <laughs> it from thieves. Is and that it, in Volo's guide? And it didn't work, and so we had to fight the ooze, and the house caught on fire while we were trying to fight the ooze. We did fight the ooze and kill it, but then it caught on fire. And then the dogmaster went and put it out. Well, to be more accurate, it was more of a corrupted water spirit, not really an ooze. It looked like an ooze, though. Yes. So what section? Water elemental? Let's see if it's in there. Is well, that but, like a history? Yeah, but that was like something that was summoned that wasn't natural to Cholt. So it might well, it seems to be more. getting late. Uh, I'm going to retire <laughs> uh, to my room upstairs. Uh, again, thank you so much, Liminal, for, for buying a copy of Bolo's Guide to Monsters. Uh, again, please tell your friends and those you meet how useful it is. Uh, and uh, Seems many like thanks to Eternal Sunshine. Two monsters have been missing so, from, yeah, so from the book. I right? hope you have use of it out there in the Charlton Building. That's okay. Thank you. Goodbye. And he very quickly sort of like shuffles off. It's immediately back up to trying to get a room. <laughs> I'll just take your money from you, Talk Day, and put it on the counter. Hi. One room, and then count up money for myself. Two rooms, and sleep. Did anybody else not like that guy? Was it just me? He's <laughs> <laughs> a strong, strong douche chill. <laughs> okay, so oh, no, I was you very, very have a copy of Volo's Guide yeah, to Monsters. Please Bar. list it in your inventory. I, I, because, it's, because it might yeah. actually be helpful. I, I, I will be reading be. it on my downtime if I'm never making okay. it. Okay. And with the two gold pieces you put in, you have paid for rooms for everybody. Hey. Not just two rooms, but rooms for everybody, because oh, yeah. the Thundering Lizard's pretty cheap compared to the House of Repose. So you each get your own room, and you make your way upstairs and settle in for the night. Yeah. At least, you do the best that you can with the ruckus going on downstairs oh, all night. I've had like three things of Tej, so I'm fucking dead to the just world. It's <clears throat> great. I'm fine. So eventually, after they go up, I come up and order a room. Because nobody told me they already came <laughs> Yeah, so so he so the the, the bartender uh, says it's like it's five silver pieces essentially for a room, um, and you know he he says like I can't break like I only have so much. Like, I'm take the whole gold piece. Takes the gold piece. You, you can have like five hundred copper pieces. He but takes, no silver. He takes the gold and then slides you over a bottle of Tej, and he's like, yeah, for your for your, for your trouble. Thank you. All right, mm-hmm. there are now six rooms, one of which is just empty. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not fucking kid ourselves. Volo's going to use that room because he's actually really fucking poor, right? He doesn't have anywhere to stay. Well, he has 40 gold oh, now. He has, he has, he's, he's, gold. He's he has a room rich. there. Yeah. And with that, you it's take... like the average is like three gold a year. With that, you do your best to take a long rest. Dear God. Upstairs at the Thundering List. <laughs> please, I need this. Please, please, I, I, I just stay up reading the book. I don't need a rest. <laughs> well, I sure fucking do. I have no spells, no hit points. Same. Still have hit dice, though. That's always good. All right. Voila. We're level four. No. That would be nice. <laughs> Not yet. The giant ooze monster. 
It's like a half or a quarter of a level. Uh, I'm sorry. We didn't save all the patrons inside, so yeah, several people died. <laughs> so if you'd say if you'd, if you'd saved more, you would have gone up to level four. But <laughs> all, all those optional it, objectives. It, it, yeah. it, it's the XCOM, you know. It's yeah. like oh, we, you see another one die now. Oh no, <laughs> off screen. There's nothing you could have done. Oh, damn map generation. <laughs> all right, so that that's our that's our game for today. All right. Cool. So glad that you all lived through it. It got close. It was pretty <laughs> good. Yeah, I was fine. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, you, you were fine. <laughs> they got you down to what? Like I don't hate maybe? Wooks enough to sell them uh, up to Emmanuel. Yeah. No, I lost not three yet. ones. Not yet. So you push, give it, give push, it, push, 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 push. <laughs> So how did how did we feel about today's session? Things you like, things you don't like. I know like. you haven't read the Harry Potter books, but you made Gilderoy Lockhart, who Kenneth Branagh played. No, I mean in yeah, basically the I, second. I know <laughs> the I second know round. enough about that to know that's what I was chanting. <laughs> okay, yeah. as I say, I'm like, boy, for someone who hasn't read Harry Potter, sure are doing a good job of recreating yeah, Gilderoy Lockhart I, there. I, I, I live, mean, I live on planet Earth, not, so you know. it, it is a good, strong trope, though. I, I love the the author trying to peddle his wares. <laughs> and got to admit, the favorite part is that moment where it does the flip, and he's like, "You guys are crazy. I'm gone." <laughs> <laughs> I know we ran him uh, off. You guys talk too much. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> yeah, like, Pretty wait, fucking what? rich, right? Coming from him. Um, I had a good time. You know, yeah. even if I wasn't well, I hope so, because if you don't, then stop coming. <laughs> you know? Are we doing anything tomorrow night? Because oh, yes. I don't have to go to work on Monday. Uh, tomorrow night? Yeah. Sunday night? Right? Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's the 22nd. You, you tell me. I mean, we're getting close to Christmas holiday. But we're not going anywhere. I'm still available. Well, I'm leaving He's for tonight, but I'll be back. Just the date isn't. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So you're back in time tomorrow night? Yeah. For a game? Cool. Should cool. be back. I'm available if you can give me a ride. Yeah. Cool. So okay, Kyler, you want to do the podcast thingy? Nope, no podcast. Let's do a thing. We don't necessarily have to do this again. Just... Well, no, I can't. I don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I time. can do this two days in a row. I need those those, those yeah, buffer days to, to, to prep a little to bit. To think. Oh, yeah. To think, yeah. Yeah, I can um, look into doing something. I've got like three systems floating around right now. We could also. It'll be one of them. We could always also do Monster of the Week. That is true. And toss Kyle in since uh-huh. Aliens mm-hmm. is. Gone. I'm still waiting for the one where we do Monster of the Week, where Yumi's just a big bad in it. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. But it's, I don't know. It's we can the do Phoenix, whatever. You know, of, of Monster of the Week. Dark Except Phoenix. I don't think Kyle likes Star Wars any more than I do. At least the game. I have never Star Wars. That's okay. Like Wars I mean, never watched a Star Wars. You know, yeah. I I like Genesis. Genesis fun. Star Wars is eh, I every time I see Star Wars I'm like it's it's the same flavor. And that was the sure. one thing that I really liked about Force Awakens was that moment where it's like the non Jedi holds the blade and right. the Jedi shooting things. This so, is interesting for Yeah, it's it's I can understand that, you know, you're sick of the overly concerned with special Jedi man yep. does all of the things and in the universe. Almost everything Star Wars is always that. So anytime it steers away from the Jedi, I'm like, alright, I'm I'm interested. Mm-hmm. Mandalorian's pretty great. That's what I've heard. Yeah, but I'm not getting it. Disney Plus. <laughs> it's just We have Disney Plus. We I, think. Own, I only got it for the Star Wars shit. Because I couldn't watch 